All right, mic check, mic check, mic check. Retro Rack and Sword Live. One night early, folks. One night early. A proud Slytherin. What you talking about, Ryan? What you talking about? What you talking about, Ryan? Oh, man. Yeah, I realized... I realized, like, the moment I saw James's tweet today... Oh, wait! I need to stream today, too. Because I'm gonna be traveling tomorrow. Tomorrow after work. Alright, let's switch up. Let's try... Try a different... Different playlist here. Check, check, check. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why the uh, the sound on the transitions just randomly stopped working. <laughs> just, just randomly stopped working one day. So, yeah. But I see that uh, Stream Elements is here and working. So that's good. Stream Elements, is, I mean, Stream Elements is early tonight, Nico. Even working for Nico. Look at that. Traveling, you say, hint, hint. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, so for those of us in the U.S., Thanksgiving holiday is coming up. So, yeah, I'm actually taking off work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We get off Thursday anyway. Then I'm taking off the Wednesday, Friday, and my, my kids are out of school, too. So they go tomorrow, and then they're out for the rest of the week. So, yeah, and then my wife, I've mentioned, I think, before on stream, she's a nurse, so she has to work kind of weird... Oh my gosh, I just turned the volume up really loud when I when I turned my head like that, the little volume slider. But uh yeah, so she actually has to work on Thanksgiving Day. So that's why we're going down visit with some family just a little bit early this year. <clears throat> Had a talk behind the scenes. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't believe it. I saw Elwin was using the spoiler one early, and then I saw you throw out the Discord one, so that's awesome. But yeah, guys, welcome. Thank you all so much for being here for another weekly stream of Retro Tour Live. Uh, I mean, guys, like November's almost complete. <laughs> and I didn't, I mean, we're getting so close at this point. Like, I didn't want to miss a stream. There's Elwin with the two months. How is it? Has it only been two months, Elwin? feels like so much longer hey i've been here two months now thanks retro for allowing me to be part of this great community thank you elwin for all that you bring to the community guys elwin a mod here on the youtube and then also over in the discord as well i can't believe it's only been two months that's crazy to me it feels like much longer and then our boy <laughs> volty is back once again oh no it's happening again JK, lol, one, just wanted to say hi. I won't spam you with super chats again for now. <laughs> Volty, welcome back. And Volty, thank you so much even for joining us here on the Monday night. I know it was kind of short notice, so I figure we might have some people showing up tomorrow being like, where's the live stream? So that was my fault. I should have got it out a little bit earlier, the notice on that. But How are you? Welcome to And then we got... Hold up, hold up. Christy with the two months. Happy two months. Y'all are wonderful. Wish I could stay the whole stream. Grateful to be a part of this amazing community. Christy, thank you. I'm so glad you're a part of the community as well. All good if you can't stay the whole time. And then Elwin immediately after... Oh, wait. This was after Volty. Elwin gifted out five tier one memberships. So five of you may see your name pop up. <laughs> Sometimes stream, stream Elements is working on the commands tonight, but on the alerts, I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I saw it pop up initially. You know what? I actually should be able to... Pause alert, skip alert. What if I do this right here and I say, like, refresh alert? Oh, but my little picture's gone. Ugh. 
Dude, I switched away. I've told this story way too many times, but I think I'm just gonna have to go back to Streamlabs for the alerts. Although it could be a YouTube thing as well. Like I know, I think J I'm pretty sure James uses Streamlabs. And then we've got Dylan with the four months as well. Yo, smash that like button for our favorite dad who loves games and the stories they tell. What's up, Dylan? Thank you so much for the four months. Dylan, another moderator here. And then we had the two months in there from Stargeezer Tim. Tim, what is up, my friend? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What just, what's popping up now? What's popping up now? Volty, okay, wait, it's way behind. Oh no, that's, it's not way behind. That's a new super chat from Volt. So the super chats are working. That's good. Volty, it's all good, man. I'm not worried. The super chats are indeed working, but yeah, it was like the memberships took them a little bit longer to pop up. Two months, it only seems like around 60, <laughs> 60 days. Stargeezer Tim, yo, while you're here, let me try to mod. Let me try to mod Stargeezer Tim as well, because Stargeezer Tim is also a mod over in the Discord. And I told him, I said, next time you're here, remind me to moderate you. So let's see if that works. Stargeezer Tim is now a moderator for your channel. There you go, Tim. You got all the powers now. All the powers of the moderator are now in your hands. <laughs> but guys, even though they didn't pop up, five of you just got a gifted membership from Elwyn. Actually, you know what? I think I can, maybe I can force them to pop up right here. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And we also got Olimar one month as a member. Yay, Olimar92, my friend, welcome. Thank you so much, Olimar. All right, so let's see if this works. I think I can trigger El each of Elwyn's gifted subs so you guys can see. There we go. All right, so Ryan with a gifted. Then we wait for that one to go away. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got Kratos Raptor with a gifted. You know what, while that's up, let me see if I can fix the, uh... and you know what, this, the sound is wrong too. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Why, why is it not working? And then we got soundtrack with a gifted membership. Yo, and then Casey Lawrence with a $5 super chat. Casey, thank you so much. Is this LGBT plus and autism safe community? Also hope this helps with holiday shopping do. Casey, thank you so much for the super chat and supporting what we do here. Absolutely. We we are welcoming to all here. <laughs> welcoming to all. This is a positive vibes community. So uh you are you are very much welcome here. And thank you for uh sharing some love with the stream. Definitely helps with the holiday shopping. Yeah. Lots of lots of holiday shopping coming up for me and the family. <laughs> Although we recently started doing something a few years ago. My hands are like ice right now. They are so cold and I forgot my little gloves in here. It's all good. <laughs> but um so yeah, a few years ago, like I have kids, we have two kids. My middle sister has three kids and then my youngest sister just had her second kid. And we got to the point where we were like, cause we were still buying stuff for each other. And we said, okay, this is kind of crazy. Let's, let's switch this up. Let's do something different. And we don't have to, uh, we don't have to buy for everybody anymore. And so we started, what we did is we draw names. So it's kind of like a, sort of like a dirty Santa, but n I mean, we get a, we get, wait, what's that one called? Is that like the white, white elephant? There's just, there's a name for it, right? Like you draw anyway, secret Santa. I think that's it. So we draw each draw a name and then we like set a limit. This is how much we're going to spend. And then we, of course, we still buy for all the kids. How are you? Welcome Wait, are, I think our alerts working now. Carlos with a 999 super chat as well. Retro records who are my fellow Gryffindor, Carlos. A wizard. Welcome back. Good to see you, Carlos. And thank you so much for that super chat. Indeed, fellow Gryffindor. Yo, are we at a 100 wizard. likes yet? Are we at 100 likes? Casey Lawrence renewed their tier one membership as well nice let's go and then we just have like a bunch of subscribers oh, coming wizard. in back to back to back troy tammy txs thank you all for subscribing to the channel and then unbox mania renewing their membership as well Hello. How 
are you? So guys, thank you all for the new members. And if you got gifted a membership, make sure you thank Elwin as well for the gifted membership. What do you get here on YouTube when you are a member? You get uh, some special emoji that you can use in the chat. You get discount on our merch, which we just launched some brand new merch just in time for the holidays. Uh, you just go to RetroReckonTour.com, click on merch and find it. And then um, you also get, uh, as we found out a couple streams ago, you were not subject to slow mode when you're a member. So I didn't know that. We discovered that together. You're not subject to slow mode. Uh, and then you have a special community section of our YouTube page as well, where sometimes I'll post things like polls for feedback on upcoming videos or ideas that I have, all sorts of stuff like that. So thank you all so much for your support of the channel. If you are a YouTube member on, uh, oh yeah, the special prefect role as well, as, as well, as well, Nico. That's right. Nico getting the merch. Dude, I, I, I just can't believe at least this much of stream elements is working. Okay, hold on. I was logged in here because I want to see if I can fix the, uh, okay, so I'm on the full cam screen right now. So we got a lot to talk about, dude. We got a lot to talk about. ASMR coming up this week. I'm guessing it's going to be tomorrow. I mean, they could release it on Thanksgiving. I know outside the You're U.S., you all don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but we, um, lowercase Logan with a super chat. Hey, Retro, happy Thanksgiving. Same to you as well, Logan. I, I've got to do something about this. I told you guys, I changed my setup a lot. I've, I've kept this longer than any other setup, but there's one big thing that's bothering me. And it's, I don't know if you guys probably can't tell because it looks like I'm at an angle, but when I'm trying to read the chat, I'm staring right in to the, the to the arm of this mic. So that's why I'm always kind of like this a little bit. Uh, let's see, lowercase Logan said, okay, wait, that's, hold on. That's a little bit better right there. Then we can kind of just angle, oh, wait, wait. Okay, I think we're good. Hope you have a wonderful time with your family. Shout out Noob, Alicia, and Nico. And then Wal Waliamas, subscribing to the channel as well. There's Casey just joined, yo! Casey with another super chat, and I think she joined as well. Been looking for an inclusive Harry Potter community since 2019. Glad I finally found one. Hey, there's a, I don't know if you've checked out James of Expecto Go. Another great Hogwarts Legacy content creator. He and Sue just did their live stream a couple hours ago. Normally, James and I don't go on the same day. He does Wizarding Wednesday. I do... I haven't come up with a clever name for it yet. Retro Racketeur Live on Tuesdays. And then, um, yeah, James, is a, James and Sue are great as well. And then um, I'm trying to think of everyone else who does live streams, but... But yeah, there's a lot of good Hogwarts Legacy content creators, but I think James and I are the only two who kind of do regular. I know Podcast Now does like occasional streams. He's been interviewing a lot of Hogwarts Legacy content creators again. So I know we interviewed James, and I think he's got Ben coming up, Ben Snow coming up tomorrow. Story time with Retro Rocketeur. What's up, Jay Rossi? <clears throat> not losing more in-house points oh no noob what happened what happened noob <laughs> keep donating so we never get to the topics <gasps> dude Ryan, there's ryan last name with a two dollar super chat didn't even have a message but i saw your message in chat ryan about not um about keep donating so i don't get to the topics i can't even get to the little um see i've already forgotten i forgot what i was even doing here okay it was something to do with alerts yes alerts on the memberships i think okay so let's go into alerts here and we're gonna go into settings member alert so it looks like the picture is broken why would that be broken that should not be broken all right, let's just change the image. I'm going to submit it again, and then we'll save. All right, now I'm going to emulate 
a membership right here real quick. So this is not gonna be a real one. Let's see if it works. Hello. Oh gosh. How are you? Welcome to <laughs> This double sound. Okay, that's working, that's working. All right, now let me go back to Elwyn's Gifteds. And let me hit this right here. It didn't work. Is it different because it's gifted? Oh, it is, I bet. But I, think, I don't think we've ever had this problem before. Guys, if you're new here, welcome to Retro, Retro Raconteur Live. This, uh, the beginning is always a little bit crazy. We're all just still settling in. We haven't got to the topics yet. Don't worry. I always have people coming in like an hour late. Did you miss anything? No. No. Not yet. <laughs> you haven't missed anything. All right. So I need to go back here. Nope. Not that far. Stream elements. Not that far back. All right. Then we're going to go back here. Then we're going to go to alerts. And then we're going to go to... There is, there is not one for gifted. There's, <laughs> there's not one for gifted. Oh wait, membership gift when variation is a gift. <gasps> hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, let's set the image for this. I'm just gonna use the same image because I mean, come on dude, gifted membership, same as membership. They're all equal in my eyes. Wait. Wait. <laughs> All right. No, I don't want that image. That was, who was that? That was, uh, that was Casey with another super chat. Casey going crazy with the super chats right now. Might join the discord next month. Shy and trying to get past it. Oh, don't be shy. I mean, you can be shy. You can just don't join the discord and you don't have to say a whole lot. <laughs> And to all, I realize there's so many people, like you think about how many active chatters, I feel like we have quite a few active chatters, and yet there are still so many people who are just lurkers, which is, which is totally fine, you know, totally fine. But it always surprises me to really think about, you know, there's, there's probably way more lurkers than there are active chatters. So to the lurkers out there, shout out to you, all good. All good. Don't feel like you have to uh, chat, but you're more than welcome if you want to. All right, let me try to save this. Now, if this doesn't work, then this is it. Boom. Boom. Look at that. And Elwin even gets like a special color. And dude, the letters are kind of freaking me out. We'll fix that later, but they're bouncing. It, it's all good. It's all good. The sound effect's not right, but we at least got it so it's not a little broken image that's popping up there oh guys all right let's get to the part of the stream where we shout out everyone who is here and hanging out uh exclamation point discord carl and it should pop up there in the stream all right so see i don't think this is accurate this little thing that shows participants because i there are more people in here chatting than <laughs> than names that were shown up there all right, let's say not top chat. I want live chat. I want everybody. And then I want to see participants. Yeah, there are way more participants than that. You're wrong. You're wrong, YouTube. You're wrong. I know you are. All right, but anyway, we're going to shout out the people that are showing up here. And if I miss you, I'll try to get you in the chat. So here tonight on a Monday edition of Retro Rack and Tour Live, we have Bella DD, channel member. Boneyard Grim is here. Brittany is that Eli or Brittany L? E L L, yeah. Darkest Demon, Dustin, Quist, Elwin, Feathers, Go Ninja Go, Jay Rossi, all of those right there, channel members. Joseph Davidson is here. JP Ravenfire, Casey Lawrence, new channel member. I don't think your channel membership popped up for some reason, Casey. We got we got the super chats. Channel memberships. Oh wait, there it is. There it is. There it is. You know what? If I didn't if I didn't call it out when it popped up, Hello. we're just gonna do that again. How are you? Welcome to All right, nearly headless Nick. We only need one of you, so closing out the other one. Uh, let's see, feathers. Oh yeah, we got feathers. Gabe is here. Also, go ninja go. Jay Rossi, Joseph Davidson, got you. Then we got JP Ravenfire, Casey Lawrence, both channel members. Uh, Kalala, Kilala is here. Kryn, Alexia, Malcolm, Carrick is here. 
Then we got Noob and Nico in the house. Nightly Nerd, shout out to Nightly Nerd, fellow Hogwarts Legacy content creator. Uh, Professor Abbott here hanging out as well. I saw Professor Abbott in, I believe it was Wizard PhD stream earlier today. Radar in the house, Ryan Kingsbury, as well as Ryan last name, both channel members. Also Professor Abbott, Noob, and Nico channel members. Sassy Sis in the house tonight. Uh, Satin, Satin, Hal, Stargeezer Tim, channel member and moderator here. Steven is here. Stream Elements is here and actually doing their job tonight, Stream Elements. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, the Carl Entry, Tim Brewster, Ultra Blue Junior, Ultra Blue, always see your comments on YouTube videos. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, Vol USA, X Drecky, and then oh, it's your boy James Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest. I see him in the chat list. I don't know if he said anything in the chat yet. Let me go back to the chat now, and I'll be able to tell you if my chat, my chat just, it just, you know what? It OBS, man, it died. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can bring you guys back. Bring you guys back. All right, I would like to see the chat. There you guys are. Oh, you're all so beautiful. You're so beautiful there. All the names in the chat. Man, I tell you, it's technology, dude. Technology. Sometimes it just doesn't work the way you want it to. All right, so if I missed you, uh, I'll try to catch you guys in the chat. Nightly Nerd and Expecto Go. Dude, we got some. We got two other Hogwarts Legacy content creators here in the house. Watch Wizard PhD, Expecto Go, and Retro. Right? All in one. <laughs> well, I was telling James when I first started doing this, I was like, we're all. We were all positioned on different days. I think Wizard PhD might stream. She does quite a few streams. So. Yeah, there's there might be some overlap there, but yeah, there was like a time where we were on a pretty solid streak of you could watch a Hogwarts a new Hogwarts Legacy creator every day of the week, every day of the week. All right, guys, we're gonna shift over into our next scene and talk about all the news of which there has been a lot. All right, I mentioned the. Uh, it's, it's so funny how it's sometimes with streams, you have things exactly the way they have been, and then they just they just decide to stop working. There's like an update or something behind the scenes on one program. So get this one out. This is, this is a crazy one. So I have stream elements, as I've mentioned a couple times with you guys. I use OBS, and there's like this little, uh, this little tool that integrates stream elements in OBS. So when I first found this, I was like, oh, this is brilliant because I see my chat on one side here and then I see the activity feed on the right side. So all that stuff that I was triggering again when Elwin's gifted memberships didn't pop up correctly, I was triggering those again through the uh, through this little activity feed thing. Oh, that's working great. But then in the chat over here on the left, it won't let me chat with you guys <laughs> because it says it's in subscribers only mode. And so somehow it's like OBS or stream elements is somehow logged out of my account. And so it's detecting me as not a member, even though I'm live on my own channel. It's pretty funny. I'll, here's another funny thing about YouTube. I've always thought it was hilarious that you, uh, you have to watch ads on your own videos. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys. Ads on your own videos. It always cracks me up. I'm like, okay, so are they, am I actually like paying myself somehow for this? Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, but man, good to see James here. Good to see Nightly Nerd here. Uh, so James was a guest last week on the stream, guys. If you didn't check out, man, I'm really not feeling any of these. Uh, not feeling any of these tonight. If you guys are wondering why I'm, I'm being very, very careful with the music. For any of you who have tried to go back and watch some of our VODs, you may notice some really strange editing. Anybody in the replay squad on this one, you'll be happy to see that this one, well, I shouldn't say for sure. Fingers crossed, this one should play through without any edits. So that is not me trying to go back and hide anything. Uh, what it is, is the YouTube copyright system is auto-detecting some of the music that I'm using, which I 
every music that I ever play on stream, I'm under the assumption that it's copyright free. And yet some still keeps getting flagged. Some of it had things where they say, hey, if you um, email this address, we will whitelist your channel and then you can use it. I had done that and never heard back. So the past couple weeks, I'm just sticking to things that I know are 100% sure copyright free. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing here, but man, I just can't find any that I'm uh, not loving the sounds of any of these. Let me go back to go back to this other playlist. And I'm also gonna turn it down a little bit. <clears throat> Last stream was great as always. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad you guys thought so. I, I definitely wanna have James on again. And we might just have to do it on a night other than Tuesday, or we might have to do it earlier than my usual stream time because James, we only had him for an hour and he and I could have talked a lot longer, <laughs> a lot longer for sure. Chris Huffinpuff, first retro live stream. Let's go. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much. Good to see you here. Shout out to the Ryan. Dude, we have a we have multiple Ryans and we have multiple Logans in every stream. And so I kind of I don't know how much we need to talk about the regular the uh because I know Wizard PhD did a big conversation on it and Expecto Go did a big conversation on it. So let's catch you guys up if you haven't. Just in case, because maybe I feel like a lot of you watch their streams too. <laughs> But if you haven't, I want to catch you all up on the news. So first of all, oh, wait, I thought this was the ASMR. <laughs> I thought it was posted. I was like, what? I missed it. So that was the first thing I was going to talk about, though, is, um, oh, they didn't even actually post this on the main account. It was Chandler. So let's go back to Chandler first here. Bench Strife. All right, so Chandler posted right here. So this was November 18th, 1235 p.m. Eastern Time. Yo, look in the comments there. Our boy Dylan. <laughs> Our boy Dylan, like, making sure. He's like, I don't want James Retro or Podcast now to miss this. Appreciate the tag, Dylan. Appreciate the tag. So Chandler said, keeping busy, working on a lot of things. The sounds of a crisp autumn wind and crunchy falling leaves are coming next week. Because I love this community, though, how about a sneak peek? Pulled this screenshot from one of Andrew's captures. So I meant to reply to this and be like, uh, so photo mode confirmed? Photo mode confirmed? Actually, you know what? Let's just do that right now. So what I'm taking from this aside from the obvious is photo mode confirmed <laughs> i see i feel like photo mode that's one of those things surely they can uh that's not like a, it's not spoiling anything you know definitely let us know that before launch definitely let us know that before launch chandler <laughs> all right so just a glorious shot as i think all the outdoor stuff in hogwarts legacy has looked spectacular uh, this shot right here, the moment I saw it, I thought about Deathly Hallows and Harry, Ron, and Hermione, you know, camping out in the forest and the Snatchers and all those scenes. Obviously not showing a lot here. We can see there's some sort of structure over here on the left, uh, but that ASMR is coming this week. Now, as I was about to say earlier, I guess it could really be... So for those of you outside the U.S., Thanksgiving is a really big holiday here. And then also, which is Thursday, and then also Black Friday is like the, I think it might still be the biggest shopping day of the year in the U.S. for holiday shopping season. So both of those are kind of like, even Black Friday is almost considered like its own kind of holiday. So I, I wouldn't expect that they'll release it on either of those days, unless, I mean, it could be like a, you know, all that stuff is a set, set it and leave it, right? They could schedule a post. But I could, I could see it hitting earlier. I could see it hitting tomorrow or Wednesday, even. Because tomorrow would be Tuesday the 22nd or Wednesday the 23rd. 
And then they'll probably want to at least see... You know, you do want to be in the office or at least close to a computer where you can, you know, monitor, make sure everything goes up correctly because on the scheduling things like Hootsuite, sometimes things can go wrong, not published when they're supposed to. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. James thinks tomorrow or Friday. Doesn't PS5 have a built-in photo mode Steam as well? Um... So, JP, the difference in, like, a dedicated photo mode. So, what the PS5 has is, like, a share button. And I'm not as familiar with it on PC, but I assume it's somewhat similar to that. Dylan with the $10 super chat. Dylan says, what's your favorite Thanksgiving item? Turkey, taters, cranberries, pie, etc. Ooh. Okay. I'll let, I'll let you guys... Actually, you know what? That's a good, uh, that's a good poll. <laughs> that's a good poll. Let's do that as our, as our poll right now. All right. So start a poll. Favorite Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just pick your favorite food of this. <laughs> favorite Thanksgiving menu item. All right. So option one, turkey. And let's let's throw ham in there too. I'm gonna say turkey slash ham. Oh man, only four options. That's just not enough. Okay, dressing slash some people call it stuffing. All right, and then oh dude, yeah, we're, we're definitely not gonna have enough room. Let's say pumpkin pie for the last one. And then I'm gonna say for sides, I'm gonna say things like um. Dude, my family, we love some macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. This could be your starch. Macaroni and cheese slash um, some form of potatoes. And actually, I'm just going to love... Everybody's going to say dessert if I say... I was going to say pumpkin pie slash dessert, but then everybody would say dessert. Because some people don't like pumpkin pie. See, we just need... We need more options here, but... I'm going to ask you guys that, and we'll come back to it in a second. <laughs> we'll come back to it here in a second. Wish you did mac and cheese feathers. Oh, man. I love mac and cheese is just a staple around our house. But then around, I mean, Thanksgiving, we still we, we still always have it around Thanksgiving, too. All right. So what were we talking about? <laughs> what were we talking about? I think we were talking about the release of the, oh, photo mode, photo mode, photo mode. And it's exactly what uh, Nick just said there. Yeah. So PS5 is just like a screenshot. So some games have a, what they, most games nowadays have a built-in photo mode. And so what that means is that you can not just pause the game because there's a big difference. When you pause the game, you may still have HUD elements that are still showing up. You may still have um, various things on the menu that are showing. However, a true photo mode, which actually one of my recent tweets I can show you guys a true photo mode is not just the pause menu. It will take you into a separate mode to where you can completely, it's, it's no HUD elements, but it's not just stuck on that screen. You can move the camera around. You can change different lighting effects. Um, a lot of them like ghost of Tsushima has where you can change the time of day. You can change the weather. So imagine being able to go to a scene in Hogwarts legacy an outside shot of the castle and say, oh, wow, I, I love this shot, but I want, let me just like change the lighting here a little bit. Let me make it at night instead. That's the difference between a photo mode. So like I took these in God of War. So this is 2018. So I don't know how well it's going to show up on stream. Um, but like I actually, this was a shot, an in-game shot. I paused the game and then I kind of moved the camera here. So the lighting... That was already set up. All I really changed on this one is I kind of shifted the positioning of it. Uh, this one right here. So this is one of the NPCs in God of War. And so like, see, I don't, you can even remove like, like Kratos or the main character. You can like take the main character out of the shot if you just want a shot of the scenery. So here, obviously no Kratos. And then I just zoom in, frame the shot. And then I have like, oh, I thought this one was so cool. That was actually in the, I think that one was in a cutscene though. And I just snapped a quick shot. But this game, like all the cutscenes are rendered 
in engine anyway so it all looks it's all the same and then oh that one's so good dude <laughs> that was so good so yeah every time i bring up photo mode and why i want a photo mode so bad that's why that's why i want a photo mode is because everything they have showed about the everything like about the environment of hogwarts legacy looks phenomenal I feel like anybody critiquing Hogwarts Legacy in terms of graphics, it's usually to do with like the animations of the characters, um, which I I understand. But the like the scenery, oh, everything looks so good. It looks so good. Hanson says, "I love these live streams, bro. It's been so long since I watched a small creator stream that I genuinely enjoy." Hanson, wow, thank you so much. Yeah, I've 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 just been saying, man, we just got to enjoy this journey because after the game comes out, I mean. Who knows what's going to happen? I expect some of you will stick around, but truth be told, a lot of people will move on, and I get that. I understand that. I mean, they're they're here for for this game, for following news on it. But yeah, it, it really is. It's a it's a special time, very special time. Oh, dude, we're at eighty six likes. I got a surprise for you guys. If we if we hit hundred likes, I got a surprise for you guys tonight. <laughs> you know, it's it's not as cool as a Pioret like James does. But I do have I do have a little surprise. All right, let's see if we can get it up to 100. So, yeah, when you like to stream it just helps uh helps YouTube boost it out so other people can uh can find it. So, yeah, we got this hitting this week at some point. Sadly, I will be let's see. I'll be back in town. I'm trying to figure out when I'll be back in town. Probably late Friday. But I may have time to get a video out by Saturday. We'll just have to see. I really haven't done a lot of huge breakdown videos on the ASMR anyway. On any of the previous ones. I, I love looking at them, but it's just like... I'll let James handle... James and a uh, Wife Wants a Wizard <laughs> can handle the breakdowns. <coughs> I still gotta get my video out on the... All the secrets and details. Which, by the way, Ben Snow had an awesome video on the uh, secrets and details from the gameplay showcase. So if you haven't checked his out, definitely check that out. All right, so that was the first tweet I wanted to talk about. So we got that expected to hit this week. Any any day now this week. Fandom draws. What's up, family draws? Family draws. What the heck? I got Thanksgiving on my mind. Fandom draws. Oven roasted potato stuffed with mac and cheese. Ooh. That sounds tasty. Turkey, typical Puerto Rican rice, and I don't know how how to pronounce that other word, <laughs> Professor Abbott. Cranberry, don't know how to pronounce that word. With rum, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Is that what you mean? Greens, potatoes, salad, love it all. Dark steam. My, my family has a secret family recipe for stewed tomatoes. Ah. Ah, nice. Which see, I love that dude. Like everybody has their own little, uh, their own little thing that you're like. M the way my family makes dressing or stuffing is is very very different from most of the stuffings that I had. It's my grandmother's. I think it's my grandmother's recipe, and it's more like most of the stuffing that I always eat is is kind of like very thick and dry but this is not at all this is this is like the opposite of that basically but still kind of has a similar taste it's way more like a like a dressing that you would eat on top of your turkey that's how i love to eat it is like i i have it on top of the turkey go ninja go i'm torn my grandfather does a few different turkeys hams my mom does restaurant amazing quality mashed potatoes oh see you guys are getting me yeah Exactly, feathers getting me hungry and ready for uh for Thanksgiving. Witcher Three is a good example of photo mode as well. Oh yeah, I mean it's almost like a staple in in modern games now. Almost like a staple. By the way, I saw somebody earlier asking about um if I am a Hufflepuff. No, I'm a Gryffindor. Oh wait, <laughs> wait 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 wait. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. We're gonna turn off the webcam for a second here. Because we're we're over a hundred likes, my chat is informing me. All right, all right. So you guys were asking 
you were asking about the uh, the house. You were saying is is retro is retro a Hufflepuff? No, retro is not a Hufflepuff. Better be Gryffindor. I'm a Gryffindor chat. Gryffindor, and yeah, you can see we have a uh, a very special guest who is who has joined us here tonight. Let's see, did I put it on backwards? It's kind of hard to see the mouth. There we go. There we go. You can see. But what I love about this one, it's actually <laughs> feathers. Feathers with the perfect reaction right there. Feathers had the perfect reaction. See, I'm like, should I should I tie this underneath here? No. So this this is a preview of things to come, you guys. A preview of things to come. So my wife loves decorating for for the holidays, for Christmas. She she loves it. She loves it. And I'm always, I'm not like a Scrooge, but I'm definitely a bit of a, it's like, it's such a hassle. <laughs> like our house doesn't have a lot of storage space. And so every year, and my son, I mean, we love decorating for our kids because our kids love it. They get real into it, of course. And <laughs> she, um, my, my biggest issue is like storage. Our house is so limited on storage. And I just refuse to buy like a storage unit. I think it's such a waste of money. I think we just have to uh, better. We just need to get rid of more stuff is my solution. But I, I made a comment the other day. I said, you know what? We need to. I already have like the decoration thing going over here. It's like for the holidays, I need like a little tree right here. A little tree. And we can decorate it with gaming, Hogwarts, Harry Potter, all the above related ornaments and so she's like man that's all i had to say that's all i had to say she took it she she ran with it she's already bought the tree so i think we'll start with um let's see i might yeah i feel like after thanksgiving i feel like after thanksgiving was when you can officially <laughs> i just saw i just read dustin's comment retro with back-to-back -back special guests in concurrent weeks <laughs> Right? I mean, you guys, I, I didn't think we could top James Expecto Go. But now, tonight, we bring forth the Sorting Hat. The Sorting Hat. And that was the perfect segue, too. I totally ruined it. As soon as you all were saying, like, I saw somebody was asking, uh, what house are you, Retro? That was the perfect segue. I missed it. Leviathan Axe Ornament. Oh, my gosh. That sounds awesome. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so my wife just took it, ran with it. She's already got a whole bunch of little Harry Potter ornaments. She's got, she's got like the Hogwarts crest. And then she thought of this for the topper. So this will be on top of the tree that we might have up next week. I feel like it might be a little tall, though. It's three feet. And so it actually, I mean, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, you, <laughs> you guys probably aren't going to see much of the sorting hat. So maybe that's... Maybe we, that's a good thing that I wear the sorting hat. And then we also need to come up with something. We, we got to come up with something fun for when we hit hit uh, the 100 likes every time. I think maybe I'll, I'll always switch over to the sorting hat, at least for the initial, like when we hit it. And then we'll switch back to the retro hat at some point. But... um. And then I, we need to do something else too. I don't have enough room for any kind of pure redding here. And that's already James's thing. I don't want to take that. I know uh, I was watching Wizard PhD on her stream. She does a lot of, she has a little wheel spin. And then she does things like, I saw her doing some high kicks today. Also a pure But I thought we might do something different. Like ours is like the channel name, you know, Retro Reckon Tour. Just a dad who loves games and the stories they tell. I thought we might do like maybe something fun with quotes. Like I pick a random Harry Potter quote and then you guys try to name the character and book that it's from. Something like that, you know? And my dog is contemplating whether she wants back in. Let me see if she wants back in. Come on back. All the regulars of the stream know. I have a second webcam. I should just put like as a doggy cam, but she she's always moving. Like her bed is over in that corner, but then when she goes out, she's at this little door right here and wants in from there. Uh, 
I can't believe the game comes out in 14 weeks. Oh my gosh, it's really only 14 weeks. Asked if you were Hufflepuff because the next person to do a gameplay showcase is a Hufflepuff. Oh. Whoa, wait a second, what? Because the next person to do a gameplay showcase is a Hufflepuff because the end of the showcase, it was a Hufflepuff robe. I'm trying to cross out content creators. Yo, Darkest Demon looking way deep. Wait, wasn't that just James at the end? <laughs> wasn't that still, because James is a Hufflepuff. And would they really go back to back Hufflepuffs, right? Although, although they haven't been, uh, they missed out on our, well, we'll talk about this whole companion situation here in a second. See, this is the bad part though. Like the hat sticks up too much. It's very small, first of all. So let me see if I can do this. Let me see if we can get, if we can go headphones because I can't hear the music. And can we still go hat? No, it doesn't fit as, as <laughs> it just does not fit as well. Oh my gosh. It might fall off this way, but okay, wait, hold on. I might have to switch to earbuds for the next stream. All right, let's put these back here a little bit. Okay, it, it feels a lot worse than it looks. It's <laughs> It still looks okay, but it feels just like, like if I move around too much, it's going to fall off my head. Oh, man. Let's try to get caught up on the comments here. I know I'm behind. I ju I'm just now to the uh, Leviathan Axe ornament comment again, Zodiac. That is a great idea for an ornament, though, by the way. What do you think about Switch release any intel? I'm trying, Chris. I am trying. I've not gotten anything. Zero. Nada. Zilch. About the Switch version. I've made multiple videos on it. And have tried to get them to clarify. And I haven't heard anything. Which, it might just be they're not ready, you know, they're clearly not ready to talk much about it yet. Hopefully we get, at least get a, a time frame on the date soon, though, because I know a lot of people are wondering. Charlie Brown Tree at Target in college. Still use it today. Nice. Oh, I missed Casey. Hold on, I missed Casey. That was three minutes ago. Casey, I'm so sorry. I'm triggering it again. Imagine having to shower repeatedly because you get vinegar poured all over you each time you hit the wrong barrel. Oh, surely they have some type of, um, I don't know, like, like magical spell or enchantment that will immediately remove a foul, a foul stench <laughs> such as vinegar. All right, there we go. There are you guys reacting to the hat. Oh yeah, then the question about the Switch release. Decorations tour. Oh yeah, when whenever we have the treat, see, I feel like I'm having to turn really slow now. But I want to hear the music too. I don't want to take off the hat. <laughs> or I mean, I don't want to take off the headphones. But yeah, Gabe, whenever I have the full tree up, I will pull it in for a close up. And we'll do, uh, I'll show you guys all the ornaments on it. What do you think about the roll prompts in game? Does it open the door beside it? I want to talk about that, Matt. Yes. I haven't had, I, I definitely saw it, but I haven't had enough time to really think and try to figure out what exactly that means yet. It's Mr. Mo. Welcome, Mr. Mo. Should do impressions. Yes, absolutely. Oh, the little, uh, the quote thing. You could always speak that quote in your sorting hat voice too. Nice, Jay Rossi. Yeah. I, man, I gotta think of like we don't hear the sorting hat talk a lot in the movies, which very sadly the voice of the sorting hat passed away uh, last week. Jason really likes the idea referring to the quotes. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice hat. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, Ben Snow is a Hufflepuff. That's right, Ginny. Yeah, Darkest Demon. I think that was James at the end of the uh, 
showcase. I think that was him throughout the whole thing. It was a shot in the room of requirement. I thought the ending of the showcase was new stuff. We will see. Yeah, I definitely think they were previewing what was coming up. But I do think it was still James's character. Look. <laughs> I just got to the comment. I just got Zodiac killing it with the comments tonight. Look like you're in Herbology with the earmuffs, dude. That is. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh my gosh. That is so true. Okay, wait. I googled Herbology earmuffs and it's actually... No, I want to see... <laughs> I want to see a, a picture of Professor Sprout because she has like a giant... Oh, here we go. Wait, does she have earmuffs on there? It's hard to tell. Wait, you're not Professor Sprout. Okay, she has earmuffs on here. It's just... Dude, why are screenshots of movies so tiny? <gasps> there we go. Longbottom's been neglecting his earmuffs. There we go. That's the look we're going for right now, guys. We got our earmuffs for the mandrakes. And then we got the uh, <laughs> our wizard's hat on. <gasps> what if they change the Hufflepuff's knock every week and you have to <laughs> remember a different rhythm? Harry throws eggs at Snape. Snape looks up and snarls, You dare use my own eggs against me, Potter. No, don't do that on me, stream. Don't do that. I was trying to... Oh, you guys are talking about... What if they change... Okay, yeah, just read that one. Pick a quote, read it in the Sorting Hat's voice. That might be fun to try, yeah. So first live stream I've caught here in Australia from Samantha. Been loving your content. Yo, Samantha, thank you so much. Dude, it is amazing how global the, the, the audience is here. It's amazing. Samantha, what time is it there in Australia right now? Is it like early morning? If we get to 200 likes, will you give us a quote to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say that. Let's say that. If we get to 200, we're at 132. So we got a ways to go, you guys. We got a ways to go. 158 watching, 133 likes. So we may not be able to get, let's say, let's say 150. If we get it to 150. If we can get it to 150, we'll, we'll do the quote. Killing me not knowing, just need to bite the bullet and buy a PS4. Chris, honestly, like that's what I've recommended to people. I know, and I get, I'm always very cautious of like, I hate saying, telling people just go buy something because I know money is especially tight right now with, um, it, it, here in the U.S. especially with, with the economy and inflation doing what it's doing. However, if you really want to play this game, we've got enough of a lead time. I would, you know, if you can sell some old games, trade in some games, you don't have to go buy a PS5 or Series X or like build a new PC, but I definitely think you should try to at least play it on PS4 or uh, Xbox One, yeah. Try to find a used one. Uh, maybe you could even borrow a friend's or... or buy one a used one off a friend who upgraded to a ps5 or series x or something because i really i really do worry about the switch version and i just i say that as a I, i'm a switch owner a my sons love the switch i love a lot of games on switch i play it a lot not as much as i used to but because i play a lot more ps5 now but i still do play it a lot especially when we're traveling or on the go um it's a great system but I do not anticipate that it is going to run this game well, or it's going to run off a cloud version, which then it may run better, but then you have all the deals, all the issues with cloud running off the cloud. What do you think the sorting ceremony will be like? Matt says, all cut scene or will you walk up to the chair? I think you'll, I think you'll walk up to the chair. Oh, you mean like actually in control though? Because if we think about what we have seen about the sorting. Having a drink very carefully so the hat doesn't fall off. 
I think it just feels a lot more un unsecure. Unsecure? Because it's uh, it's connected to the top of my headphones. Scourgeify. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 49.59 in the gameplay showcase, you see a person going into the room of requirement with Hufflepuff robes. Ah, oh, okay. That's what Dar Darkest Demon's talking about. The hat is nice. Hey, thank you, Casey. I know you meant whales watching them play in a game. <laughs> Against actual whales. I'd watch that. No, I did not. I was uh, I was working during the day today. So I did not get to watch it. Ended in a tie, right? It's so weird to me that it can end in a tie. It's not James's character at the very ending of the showcase. There's a Hufflepuff running into the menagerie, but it's not James's character. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. A little more challenging. It's I think you all said 49.59. Oh, so like the very... Wait, 49, hold on. 49.59, hold up, hold up. There is no 49.59. <laughs> right there? No, not that one. Right there, 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 there. Oh, dude. Okay, yes, it is definitely helpful puff. And they have a... Uh... Yo, what if that... <laughs> I never thought about that. What if that was actually a tease for who the next person is going to be for the showcase? I can't tell. I think that's blonde hair. Dude, what if it's like Tom Felton? Imagine. Imagine. Like, they switch it up. Like, not a content creator this time. Like, somebody known from the fandom. Somebody uh, made popular by the, the movies, but he's not a Hufflepuff. Is he Is he in real life? I think he's a Slytherin. I think I remember seeing that he was actually Slytherin. I'm sure somebody in chat will know what he actually is. So, yeah, I know for sure Ben is a Hufflepuff. But that, like, see right there, it looks like brown hair. And then right when they're running into the, yeah, so like a blondish brown hair. Dude, I I can't believe you guys are trying to to guess the next uh co-host by looking at the 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 Hufflepuff at the end. <laughs> so funny. Professor Retro. We know it's you guys. <laughs> it's not me. It is not me. Although if it was, I couldn't say that it wasn't. But I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, it's not. People were asking me in the Discord too. Like, I'm not under an NDA. So if, if it were me, I'd be under an NDA. So I would have to say things like, oh, let's see, what would I have to say? I would have to say things like, we'll see. Or I wonder who it will be. We'll just have to wait and find out. <laughs> I would I would have to say things like that. Tom is a Gryffindor, but he chose Slytherin. Yo. I thought I remembered him getting something other than Slytherin, though. He refuses to take the test, so he just says Slytherin. Ah. Out of curiosity, did that astronomer's hat Amazon pre-order exclusive ever get confirmed? Steven, that's a great question. I never saw anything official. However, it is still on. Hold on. I'm going to have to open. I think I can try an incognito. Was it Amazon France? I think it was Amazon France. And maybe Germany too. Oh, wait. It's gone. I might be wrong. Let me check Amazon uh, Germany.
no, don't change to the US. <laughs> I'm just testing something. <gasps> Wait, it is gone. Okay, Hogwarts Legacy Astronomer's Hat. Okay, wait, yeah, let's go to the Reddit. Oh, this was deleted by the person who originally posted. It's on the French and German. That's what I thought. So wait, is this gone now? They used to have, they had a picture of it over here. Let me look at just the standard. Casey with another super chat? Yo, what is happening? Apparently Tom is making it confusing. I saw a video where he got sorted in a Gryffindor. JP Ravenfire says they saw a video where Tom was sorted in Hufflepuff. What? He strikes me. I mean, that's why I said Hufflepuff on the beginning. I was like, I could see Tom being a Hufflepuff. People would be so mad, though, if if he did it and he wasn't wearing Slytherin robes. <laughs> They'd be so mad. Oh, wait. Amazon exclusive, right? <gasps> there it is. Okay, so it's a separate, a separate thing. And there it is. I mean, that looks pretty darn official to me. Pretty darn official. I, I think it's strange that they haven't commented on it officially. Like avalanche or anybody but then again like see that's where it gets into the like like the stuff i just don't know about how games and the marketing work because avalanche and their marketing folks are all based here in the u.s yet yeah, wb of course is global the game is going to be shipping all over the world so do they actually like is it more on in wb's court to reveal that now i gotta go back to amazon france and see if they have a a special thing too and then noob with a super chat gotta do it every stream just a friendly reminder to say stay hydrated and which is better pancakes or waffles <sighs> okay i'm gonna i hope i don't make anyone angry i love them both i'll i'll start by saying that straight up love them both but if you give me a choice give me a nice crispy waffle give me a nice crispy waffle i love waffles so much Oh wait, it is there. Did I just miss? I think I just, I think I just missed it before. So that one doesn't have. Oh, I, maybe I was on the wrong. It does have to be this Amazon edition. And yeah, there it is. So I mean, I think it is official, but I think right now it's only for those territories. Maybe as we get closer, we will, um, you know, the other territories will have things confirmed. But yeah, I love some waffles. Love some waffles. Tom Holland is a Harry Potter super fan and his voice is excitement for the game. I saw that, Reese. Yes. Ahmad, I really think it's going to be Ben. Dude, Ben would be awesome. Although Ben, that'd be a... Uh, ben would be coming from pretty far off. Retro's <laughs> next goes, but he can't say. <sighs> If I were under an NDA, I don't think I could... I mean, I guess I could just straight up lie, but I I'm, I don't lie. I don't lie. <laughs> I, I would not... I would never straight up lie to you guys. I truly mean that. I would... I would find ways around it, but I would never just straight up lie. And I told... I straight up told you guys, I'm not under an NDA, so... If, if I were the next one, I would... I would have to be under an NDA. Ben hasn't put out as much content lately. Oh, maybe Ben's been traveling a bit. Perhaps, perhaps. Ben did put out a video. He had a great video up about the like secrets and details from the from the showcase. I'm just gonna leave this like I, 
unless we're talking about something specific, I'm just leaving this, wait, over here. Just leaving this picture of Sprout over here. So people stumbling into the stream can just be like, what the heck? <laughs> Another Hufflepuff would be upsetting. Yeah, I could see them, I could see them trying to balance it out because think about it on the actual, the first live stream, they had one of each house. Now, are they gonna be as judicious with that throughout? Because we've already seen the Ravenclaws. <clears throat> <clears throat> In terms of the uh, companion, <clears throat> Not getting as much uh, attention. Yeah, Ben's a Hufflepuff. Yeah, yeah. What is my Ilver morning house? It was Thunder Thunderbird. Is that one? I think it's Thunderbird, right? Ilver morning houses. Yeah, I was Thunderbird. Which is so accurate. Soul of the Wizard. Soul of the Wizard. Adventurer. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I love how these aren't perfect translations. Translation? That's probably not the right word. I love how they're not exactly Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. I love how they're a little bit different. Like this one... Sorry, Ravenclaws. That one is pretty... <laughs> yeah. That one's pretty much matches Ravenclaws. But the others, like Heart of the Wizard, Healers, Body of the Wizard, Warriors, Soul of the Wizard, Adventurers, those are very different, I feel like, from Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. Like, maybe you could say... Like, maybe Gryffindor would be the Warrior. And then who would be Healer or... See, I feel like, yeah, I don't feel like it's perfect when you get to Hufflepuff and Slytherin. They don't really fit into either of those two very, very neatly. How long until Nexus has a 100% completion for Hogwarts Legacy? <laughs> I'm not familiar with Nexus. Miles, I'm under NDA about... <laughs> I would not say to you guys, I'm not under an NDA. I just wouldn't talk about it. I would just I would just ignore all the questions. See, that's what I mean. That's the power of the stream, you know. Casey with another super chat, by the way. Casey showing some crazy love tonight. Sent a ten dollars super chat. Retro, should I play as an evil Hufflepuff or good but neutral Slytherin for my first playthrough on PS4? Ooh, I mean, I feel like everybody's kind of intrigued by this idea of an evil Hufflepuff. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say evil Hufflepuff. I'm going to go with the, the classic good Gryffindor though, for my first playthrough. But I, I, I also wonder, I don't want to say anything about trophies. Cause I don't, for those of you who don't want to know anything at all, I don't want to spoil anything for you. Let's just say, I don't think there will be a, like in a lot of games, it's like, oh yeah. You need to play through as one way and then as another way for a trophy. You're not going to have to worry about that with this game. So I think the incentive will purely be what happens in the story, right? How different the story is. That will be the incentive for doing any replays and changing your decisions. Yeah. In the trailer, they mentioned the four houses represent air, earth, fire, water. Do you think these may play a role in a secret common room entrance? Ah, a secret common room entrance. I don't think they would do I don't think they would do that because we already have the main entrances which they made such a big deal about and they look so wonderful. And then we have the uh the flu flames. So I think the flu flames will we still don't know exactly how those will work in the common rooms. So, assuming you can only travel to ones that you've discovered. So, you're not going to be able to take a flu flame as a Gryffindor into Slytherin. But I guess you will be able to be, you know, in other parts of the castle. And if you're a Slytherin, you know, you'll be able to, oh, I need to take a quick flu flame right back.
And then another super chat from Noob, which by the way, last time Noob gave a super chat, I forgot to hydrate. So tonight we have a we have a peach Waterloo. Peach Waterloo. Haven't had peach in a while. Pumped to get it back. I think peach is probably my favorite one. I love peach, I love grape, and I love the black cherry. And then Casey. Oh my goodness, Casey again. Evil Hufflepuff for PS4 and good but neutral Slytherin for Nintendo Switch. It is then. Yo, let's go. If Switch ever... When, when the Switch ever finally comes out, right? Cad Bane Bounty Hunter. Yes, absolutely planning a deep dive. Um, people in the Discord have been sharing a lot of things that they've been pinpoint pinpointing. And that video just takes so long to do. And I've been... I probably would have had it out if not for the, the uh, Ravenclaw announcement. But when that happened, it threw me off. I had to I had to make that video and get that one out. Oh, and then Noob's... Oh, yeah, I just... Re <laughs> Sorry, Noob. I'm getting to it. Poppy Sweeting is the main villain. I swear on my backfiring wand... <laughs> And at least half a bottle of butter beer. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But we shall see. He read it calmly. Yeah. Like like Dumbledore was supposed to do in Goblet of Fire, you guys. Jeez. Don't you know? Don't you know? Yeah, but but I am um and then it's probably gonna get pushed back further because here here's the good thing about I won't be able to record anything while I'm away traveling, but I will have a laptop with me. And so I'm going to get to do a lot of writing, I hope. So I'm going to go through all the notes that people have collected in the Discord. I'm going to rewatch, do my full deep dive on my own, compile all my notes, and then write write all, all the secrets and details because there's just... There's so much in there. I still don't think we fully scratched the surface yet. Still don't think we have. Chris says, okay, hear me out. Just commented this unexpected go live video I sadly missed. Have you all seen the theory that Bethilda back? <laughs> all right, I'm going to take credit for that one. I'm pretty sure that theory originated with me. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to throw it out there. I threw it out and it got a ton of retweets and likes. I can't remember if I was responding to Expecto Go or if I was responding to an, an official Hogwarts Legacy. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm just going to break it down for you. I'll keep it real here. Because <laughs> I've, I've seen this comment from several people. I don't know if that was you in the... That might have been you, Chris, in the in the actual comments on one of my videos today because I replied to this. I've been seeing this in a lot of comments. I would love it. I think it would be awesome. It was kind of just a crackpot theory, though, you guys. <laughs> it was it was kind of just a crackpot theory, okay? It wasn't something that I had a lot of solid evidence behind. Now, if it happens, of course I'm claiming it, you know? But it was really more like a, wouldn't it be crazy if? And the reason I said it is because of that field guide. So remember how when they were being all coy about the uh, the field guide, like what is the name of this? The unauthorized guide to Hogwarts. And so then when we started learning more about it, they started showing those tips, which we now know the little tips and secrets aren't actually in the book that's in the game. At least I don't think they are. But I was thinking, I was like, oh, what if it's like, this almost sounds like Hogwarts of history. This sounds like we're helping write Hogwarts of History. So then I'm like, okay, Bethilda Bagshot, of course, wrote Hogwarts of History. Let's check up on Bethilda's timeline. Now, most likely, Bethilda is going to be much older. I think technically she could be 17 and be a seventh year. However, I think it's more likely that she is older based on some of the information that we know. Um, 
Even if she is older, though, that doesn't ruin the theory for me. Now, would it rule out? Would it? Would it overrule her being a Ravenclaw companion? Yes, <laughs> because unless she's just like visiting the school and then, hey, I'm a Ravenclaw, and we don't even know she's Ravenclaw. That was another thing. We we don't know her house. She lives in Godric's Hollow, so people assume Godric's Hollow, but hey, not everybody who lived there is from. Uh, not everybody who's from Godric's Hollow is in Gryffindor. There's no way. Uh, Rossi or is it Rossi or Rosie? I'm going to say Rossi. Uh, sent a super chat. Are you worried about performance? If you look under Epic Games, it says the minimum specs to run the game is a GTX 1070, which is really high. Ooh, is that, um, is that also what it said on the Steam requirements too? Let me see if I can... Uh, Hogwarts Legacy Steam... That does seem a little high. 1070 does seem a little high. I, I almost wonder if that was recommended and not the minimum. Oh my gosh, you're not kidding. That's the minimum. Even on Steam. So here we are on Steam, guys. Uh, Yeah, that, that does feel a little high. Processor not too bad. i5 8400 or the Ryzen 5 2600, which I believe that that one's pretty old. Wow, that is fairly. So I have a 2060 Super, which I think is like the, I think it's like on par with a 1070. So I should be good, but I'm I'm gonna be playing on PS5. JP says 1070 is low. Got that like six years ago. JP, have you been following the, the GPU situation? It's getting a lot better now, but now that, I mean, that, that feels high to me for, for a game that's still running on PS4. Like, let's look up, um, I don't know. Let's, let's find something new and noteworthy, like a top seller. What's a relatively new game? Modern Warfare 2. Would that be a good one? Uh, let's look up Elden Ring. Elden Ring will be a good one. I was born in 1940. Not really. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Yeah, see, Elden Ring 1060. 3 gigabyte 1060. But then it, it requires more on the processor side. I'm also not like a PC expert either. So then let's look up like uh, Red Dead, even though Red Dead is a much older game. 1060 for Red Dead as well on the minimum. Yeah, new God of War is not out yet on PC. Now I want to, like, Modern Warfare is probably the biggest uh, new game. So let's just check that one. By the way, Nightwolf, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. And then Jay becoming a channel member right there. Jay, thank you so much for becoming a channel member here. I know Modern Warfare is going to be low. GTX 96, yeah. Because that game is multiplayer and they want to they wanna have that. They will, you know, they got to be broadly, broadly appealing with that. Yo, we got 154. Hey, let's go. All right. So here's what we're going to do, guys, for hitting 154 likes. I got to make sure I took it off screen here. Okay. Random Harry Potter book quote generator is there such a thing all right see I'm, i can't tell you guys like what list i'm getting it from or what list i'm pulling it from all right now let me see if i can pick one that's i want to pick something that is not obvious this is not it but like this no i'm not even going to say that
All right, so first, I want you guys to try and tell me who said it, and then bonus points if you can guess the book. So these are, let me make sure I'm correct here. I want to make sure these are book quotes and not movie quotes. Because I definitely want to stick to the book quotes. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And I'm not, I'm going to try not to put any inflection on it. To... Youth cannot change. Wait, I messed up. Cancel that. We go again. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels, but old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels, but old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. One more time. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels, but old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. No cheating, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't look it up, guys. Dermstring is in Albania. Look up the crests and you'll see. There's a Harry Potter RP form that says the Australian school is called... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it is not canon. Uh, it's Mr. Mo have a 1080 10i starting to have struggles with big open world games and like Warzone. Also, got to think just how big this is going to be. Right? So like, how is it going to run on the Switch? <laughs> How's it going to run on there? By the way, we have yet to talk about the Ravenclaw Companion. So replay squad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to get there. I promise. We've only been going for an hour and a half. Just an hour and a half. I feel like people are talking about weapons, cars, computers, or some other form of tech when they start listing off their specs, right? Oh, so true. Open world games are more CPU and RAM intensive than GPU. Interesting. Because Hogwarts is requiring more on the GPU side, it seems like. All right. It looks like, okay, so let's see. Zodiac says Dumbledore book six. Chris says Dumbledore. Mary says Dumbledore. Why does it sound like a riddle from a, a Sphinx? Uh, Go Ninja says Slughorn. Supernova with the correct answer. Trevor the Toad, book 16. <laughs> no. Uh, Radar says Dumbledore. Sergio says Albus in book six. Feather says Dumbledore, Half-Blood Prince. Ryan says Dumbledore, Harry Potter 1. Uh, Teal side says McGonagall. Elwin says definitely sounds like Dumbledore. Gabe says now do a backflip. Dumbledore probably made a, maybe Order of the Phoenix after Sirius died. High IQ warrior. Uh, Boneyard says sounds like Dumbledore. Couldn't even begin to guess which book. Haven't read them in a long time. Dumbledore Book 6, Chapter 37, says Hanson Edits. Slytherin Pride, Dumbledore Book 6. Dumbledore Order of the Phoenix, says Radar. All right, so you guys are right. It is Dumbledore. It is Dumbledore. And I think I saw two get the book correct. Now I'm wanting to double check because we had... <laughs> We had somebody literally call out a chapter. So this website that I found is showing that it is from book five. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I can see why so many people would guess book six. Now let me go. Let me go on Goodreads here and Goodreads will tell us. Yeah, it's Order of the Phoenix. So congrats to the, the two people who got it right with book five. I think I would have guessed book six as well. I do. And I think you were also right. I bet it was after, after Sirius' death. Yeah. Ryan, we're not going to get there. Any any advice to new creators for YouTubers? 
Oh, man. I've got it pulled up over here now, at least. Over here. So, maybe we'll get there. I mean, I made a video on it, but I did, I did want to talk about it a little bit, too. Feathers changed it before I said it. Supernova, it's a conspiracy. It's Trevor. Trevor. Um, advice to new creators for YouTube. So, depends on, first of all, depends on where you're, like, where you're at. How new is new. If you're just getting started, you just have to start thinking of it. All right. So, if you're asking that question, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Because I always think it's important to first consider your goal. If you're in it just to have fun, then my advice to you will be very different than if you're in it to build a community and possibly build a a revenue stream for something that you could... Sorry, hold on. I can't do this with the sorting hat on. We'll bring the sorting hat back. But I'm like, someone's going to clip this dude giving advice on YouTube wearing a sorting hat <laughs> and i'm like nobody's gonna take this serious yeah there's the there's the mouth and eyes right there it's like it's very subtle though you can like just make it out a bit <laughs> i just realized how hilarious that would look as I was describing it there um so yeah my advice would be very different and and since you're asking that question I I would assume that you're asking it because you are wanting to grow a community or make a little side income maybe even turn it into full-time if that is true that part then start thinking of it as a business much sooner rather than later Shifting from a hobby mindset to a business mindset is what changed everything for me. Because instead of saying, why aren't people watching my videos? Why isn't anybody watching? Why aren't they, why, why, is, why isn't anybody watching this? I started saying, what value am I bringing to people? What, why would they watch? Why, why would anybody watch this video? And it's, it's, it's a little tough love saying it out loud. I know it's kind of hard to hear that. And I've, I, you know, I don't know if you're asking about you or somebody else, so it's not, I'm not insulting anybody directly, but I had to say that about my own content. I was like, why would anybody watch Nico? One of the few here hanging out who has seen my whole kind of content creator journey, which blows my mind. Nico will bring up all these random things from when I streamed on Twitch to like three people. I'm like, dude, you really have been following that long. Um, <laughs> and so when I first started, I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll stream and then I'll then I'll just post the videos on YouTube. Why, why would anybody care? Why, why would they care about watching me play Smash Brothers? Am I really great at the game? No. Am I doing some tips at the game? No. It was just literally me playing. Okay, so then then I'm like, okay. Let's let's get a little bit be bit better at this. Then I did a Luigi's Mansion let's play. I took and I really I, I really highly edited it. I edited that a lot. And thought, okay, maybe this is a step in the right direction. I'm going for I'm going for something funny here, you know? But still, like the value wasn't enough. It's like you have to give people a clear reason to watch. You have to give them something because and I have never taken this for granted ever since the YouTube has kind of went, you know, grown a lot. Is the most valuable thing people have. A lot of people think it's money. It's not money. <laughs> it's not money. It's their time. It's their time. So that's why I'm always like, whenever I'm doing a live stream and I have this many people, I don't even know how many we have watching right now, whether it's 5, 50, 100. 150, whatever, 300 last week with James, we were at over 600 at one point. That is such an incredible thing to like, 
when I think about you have that many people who are giving a time out of their day to watch you. So live streams is like a whole different ball game because that's like a whole different level of, wow, you are showing super support for the channel. I'll get your uh, chat here, noob. And then Sig, Sig or Psy Co? Psy K-O? As soon as I finish this thought. <laughs> um, but, but even with YouTube videos, it's the same way. It's the same way. You're not even asking people for, for money. You're asking people to spend time over Netflix, over playing a game, over all the other channels on YouTube. You're saying, hey, can you watch my video? Why? Why? Why, why, why? And so I found my why. I was like, I've got to start providing value. When somebody watches this video, there has to be something that they get out of it. That's the biggest step. Think of it as a business. Think of it as delivering value to people. Then you get into the whole thing with packaging and titles and thumbnails, which is a whole, you know, that's a big part of it too, because if nobody can find it and if they're not interested by it, you could have the greatest video in the world, but if they're not interested, then they're not going to click on it. So you have to pique the curiosity with the title thumbnail. And then the video just has to be like, yes, you know, you want them, you want them to watch it and just be. You, you immediately deliver on your promise and the title and the thumbnail, and then you carry that out through the whole video. That's it. There you go. <laughs> I can talk about YouTube all day, all day. So that, that question uh, got me on a little uh, a roll there. All right, so Noob says, now hear me out. The Ravenclaw Companion is me. It has been confirmed, and it's right there on the screen. Is that your... Wait, what? There it is. It's noob, you guys. We missed it. It was there all along. And then Psy uh, KO, thank you all so much for the super chats, by the way. How do you think they will handle your character's clothing while in cutscenes so it doesn't break the immersion? I eat regular clothes while in class. I think the cutscenes will be. I hope it will all be in engine. So it will be whatever we're wearing at the time. Most newer games are doing this now. Like God of War, I'm re replaying the 2018 God of War right now. And so like you change the armor out and then he's wearing that armor in the cutscenes. So I Jake with the emoji. How's it going, Jake? Uh, do I still play Animal Crossing? I do not know, Chris. So, Chris, you've been watching or you watch some of the old videos. Either you've been watching for, for a while or you watch some of the old videos. I have not played it in a while. Uh, my son popped in a little bit for, I don't know, probably a month or so ago. But, yeah, we basically did everything. Like, we completed our museum. We caught all the fish. We got the um, the golden fishing rod. And I think we caught all the... Pretty sure we caught all the bugs too. We didn't fully complete the museum because we didn't complete the... Um, like all of the, the jolly red stuff. We didn't complete that. <clears throat> but yeah, it just got to the point where we had seen everything. So we both kind of 
kind of lost uh, lost interest. But man, that was a fun ride. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget 2020 for a lot of reasons. Uh, but that game, it, you know, during all the lockdowns and stuff, playing that game with my son and start. I mean, that's what started the YouTube channel, guys. That is when I, that is when I committed. That was the moment. Dustin, it starts with care too. Oh, nope. It did the thing where it jumps away from the comment. Whether it's one view or a thousand, take the time, put honest care in your videos. The views will come. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... You just have to give people something that, that they care about. You know, it sounds so easy. And I know, I know it's not... <laughs> And I know to people like who are trying to get started, it's like, what, you know, delivering value. Cause I heard so many people say that so many times, value, 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 value. And I'm just like, what? I feel like I'm, I feel like this is valuable. And then you almost have to become your own. I'm not gonna say worst critic because you just, you gotta stay positive too, but just watch your videos. This is a good one too. Watch your videos. And the second that your mind starts to wander, circle that timestamp because you, you need to cut something. You just have to edit relentlessly where it's like, if you go back and watch some of my early videos, a lot of people, some people don't like, I'll be, I'll be curious to see what chat says about this one. Cause I know some of you still say retro, uh, the dad who loves games and the stories they tell. If you've noticed in some of my more recent videos, I've dropped saying that. And it's because I don't have an intro at all. I don't have an intro. I used to do like the whole intro and then like splash screens. Don't worry about some big fancy intro splash screen. But now it's like I am every of all of my videos immediately start. And because it's not because I don't love the saying and it's not because I'm no longer a dad who loves games and the stories they tell I am. But I can look at the YouTube retention graph and I would see where people would skip. The vast majority of people would skip the intro and they go right to when the video begins. And in fact, the moment that I made the change, the moment that I said, all right, I'm not doing them anymore. I'm not doing intros at all anymore. Was when somebody, they actually posted in the comment, video starts at, and they put the timestamp, which people, people can you know see and they can click that it becomes a link for my video and they can jump to that point and i went back and watched and sure enough it was like the intro ends and that's where they put the timestamp. yeah so that's why if any of you have watched and been like oh why does he never say it anymore maybe i should start saying it in live streams that would be a good way to keep it keep it alive still because i am just a dad who loves games and the stories they tell but yeah, it just doesn't have a place in my YouTube videos anymore because everyone has the attention span of like, we all do, man. I mean, it's like our attention spans are so short. Uh, Go Ninja says, uh, I think he meant wholesome, maybe. Content with updates and funny moments why I pop in weekly when I can. Yo, thank you. Professor Abbott just took the Ilver Morning test. Looks like I'm a Thunderbird. Welcome, Abbott. I'm a Thunderbird as well. Playing God of War 2 right now. Nice. I haven't even started the new one yet. I've still <laughs> I've still been replaying the other one. Imagine in a cutscene doing normal class stuff in dark wizard robes. Like the mask and stuff? The masks that they've already teased? No, Zodiac, I haven't yet. I'm just like taking my time. I've taken the uh I've taken it, Draven. I was the a Thunderbird. That might be a fun idea, I, I, unless you mean like retake it though. We could might could retake it. Assassin's Creed keeps you in what you put on, but takes off your headpiece the past few years. Do you think they will prompt you with the recommendation on clothing? Ooh, like like if you're going to class, maybe you're required during classes. That might be a thing. Like you're required to wear your robes for class. If it just automatically puts you in there. I could see that. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, for sure, Ryan. For sure. 
Twitter's probably the best place to uh to reach out. Okay, now this song I'm totally digging. It's not very Harry Potter, but I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm liking it. Johnny the Hustle Russell, welcome back, dude. Uh, oh gosh, I have a 49 page handbook to read for my job. Can I go back into being a kid so I don't have to deal with this? 49 page? Oh my goodness, Mary. YouTube limits $500 a day, that's all. $500? How much? <laughs> oh my goodness. What did I think of your icon and banner, Jake? Uh, you talk about the little emoji in the chat? D. Jane is here in the house as well. Welcome, D. Jane. Do you think we will see the 70th Potions Tournament? Do you think we'll be able to attend? I'm going to say no, Johnny. I'm going to say no. I know that's been a popular one popping up lately, but unless they just have kept that like completely quiet, which I'm sure that we don't know everything. I'm sure we don't know everything. Uh, Casey would love to do pranks with Peeves. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Peeves plays out in this game. Like, we saw him in the... I'll see this one. Wait. This does not look like... I think it... Oh, I hope that wasn't a copyright song. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a copyrighted song because it went out of my playlist, I believe. Actually, let's switch to this one. It's nice to have a saying, though, maybe at the end. You could put it at the end. He did it. He said the thing. <laughs> your channel art and icon? Are you talking about on your YouTube, Jake? I don't think I've looked at it. Hold on. Let me try to... Uh... There you are. Put user in timeout. <laughs> oh, whoops. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I was trying to just like click on your. All right. So let's see the results of our poll here. So earlier, guys, we asked favorite Thanksgiving menu item, turkey, ham, dressing, stuffing, or sides like macaroni, cheese, potatoes. Dude, it was really close. Really close. By the way, thank you for another $5 super chat. Psy KO again, or Psy, maybe it's Psycho, spelled differently. How involved do you think the classmates we meet will be in the main story, like Neville, Draco, Luna, etc.? Well, thank you for that, Psycho, because that is the perfect segue into tonight's topic of discussion an hour and 52 minutes into the stream. We finally arrived, guys. We finally arrived. The results of the poll, though, uh, Turkey and Ham finished out on top just barely, 31%. Uh, second were the sides, macaroni and cheese at 30% along with... Oh, oh, somebody just tied it up. Somebody just tied it up for the mac and cheese and potatoes. Dressing and stuffing in second place at 21 And then, surprising, the pumpkin pie at 70%. Oh, man. I'm so hungry, though. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I think if I had to pick just one. I'm, I know a lot of people don't like turkey. I actually really do like Thanksgiving turkey. My family a few years ago started changing the way. Oh, it's there's something that my mom started doing differently to where the turkey tastes a lot better. But I've, I've always liked turkey anyway. I remember when I, when I was a kid, it was always really dry, <laughs> the turkey. 
But yeah, she changed something up in the past, I don't know, five, ten years or so, and it's a lot better now. But yeah, if I had to pick just one though, I think I would go with the with the mac and cheese. With the mac and cheese. Alright, so the the comment there from Psycho. Pumpkin pie lost because I didn't include the cool whip. No. Oh wait, there was another comment I just saw from Elwyn. Oh, where did it go? Oh, it does not. Yeah, it's not a cherry Coke. Tonight is a... Uh, I went with Waterloo. I don't need caffeine this late. <laughs> it's a peach flavored Waterloo. I'm trying to... Uh, trying to cut back on the caffeine late at night, so... I don't drink any regular soda anymore. It's always a cherry Coke Zero. But... Whenever I'm drinking it this late for stream, it's just too late for the caffeine. The one you sent in the community chat in the Discord. Uh, I probably didn't see that, uh, Jake. I don't really check. <laughs> I rarely check Discord messages, sadly. Unless you're talking about posting it in one of the... Um, like in one of the channels there, but I might have, I might not have seen it there. We kill peeps, and that's why it's not in the movies. Oh my gosh. Mark, uh, jump again to say hello. Hope everyone has a great evening, great holiday. Mark, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great, wonderful Thanksgiving as well. Elden Ring will probably be game of the year. It's my game of the year right now for sure, but I haven't played uh, Ragnarok yet. Actually, I haven't played a ton of new games this year. I really want to play uh, Horizon as well. All right, so let's let's get to this question here about the classmates. So, I'm going to turn off music for this because I want to go back. I was honestly really looking forward to this chat because I I wanted to go back to the original Hogwarts Legacy State of Play. And I want to listen to exactly what they say when they introduce the companions. So we're going to do this together because I have a theory. If you haven't seen my video from today yet, then this will all be new to you. If you have seen it, then you'll get a chance to hear me expand on it further and get a reaction from you guys in real time. So, oh, wow, I jumped to the perfect spot. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna back it up five seconds and then play it from here. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. <laughs> what a place to stop Some abilities it. may be taught to you by students who become your friends. Okay, that line right there. Some abilities... Let's turn on the captions. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. Okay, so they straight up called it companions. They said it right there in the text, on the, the text that popped up in this little scene, they called them companions, and they said it right there, we'll accompany you on your journey as companions. I I'm just going to listen to this again. Abilities may be taught to you by Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. We've seen this already with Sebastian and Crucio. Students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. And over time, you'll learn their stories. So as they're saying this, they're showing Natsai. This is our chance. That scene right there is a scene from the cutscene. A scene. That scene is a scene from the cut. The Autodesk presentation where uh, Avalanche revealed a new cutscene. It was very short, but it was that was the shot right there, and we're pretty sure that is from one of Natty's missions. Natsai Onai is a. And so then here they are introducing us to them. They're introducing us to. The companions. That's Iona. Brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts. 
connecting with them more easily than with humans. But what happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules... Sneaking in the restricted section again! ...is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin... We've been over this, boy. I... Rubblefix cannot reverse a curse. ...with a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more... You'll meet these students... ...and more. Okay. By changing the terminology right there to students... And more. Because initially we were all like, okay, and more companions? And more... St by changing the, the wording to students, I think they're just saying you'll meet more students. Look, here, here they are. Here's some of them. As you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. And I think... Well. Okay, yeah. That's it. All right. Okay. So, they introduce us to the three companions. And so, obviously, we're all immediately going to think, oh, where's Ravenclaw? <laughs> right? I mean, that, that's the natural reaction. You get Gryffindor, you get Hufflepuff, you get Slytherin, where's Ravenclaw? And they told us straight up right there, I'd forgotten, I'd actually forgotten that they spelled it out there so clearly. And it is also still almost word for word, what we just heard in that trailer right there, is almost word for word what they still have here in the FAQ. Will players establish friendships in Hogwarts Legacy? And then they say, some students at Hogwarts will become friends. As players grow these relationships, these schoolmates will become companions who can accompany players on their journeys, expand their abilities, and open up as players learn their stories. Yeah, that's almost exactly what they said in the trailer here. Almost exactly. So they gave us right then and there the definition of a companion. A companion is someone who we're going to learn abilities from them. So that's one component. They're going to have a story and they're also going to be able to accompany us on our journey. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. It never in a million years would I think they wouldn't have a Ravenclaw companion. Never. I mean, it just, it just didn't make any sense to me. Like why, why would you not? We've been fortunate enough to talk to people occasionally. A, a few little tidbits that we've gotten behind the scenes. We broke the story on Quidditch, um, and there was a couple other things as well. But then one of the other things was I heard there was a Ravenclaw companion, and I, I told people that. So I want to be clear about this. This character right here that we were introduced to, uh, I believe it's pronounced Amit Thakar. Not the car, Thakar. <laughs> I think um, this is the one I knew about. This is the one I knew about. Uh, I believe he is of uh, Indian descent. And that is what I knew. I did not know the name, but I knew that it was a, a male Indian Ravenclaw is what I knew. So there's not, in terms of companion, anything that I may or may not have heard, this was it. So there's, at least from what I know, there's nothing more. Like there's, It's not like there's something else coming or about to get revealed about Ravenclaw. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. This was November 18th. You will meet many classmates from Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and yes, even Ravenclaw. So there they go using the classmates terminology now. The astronomy-loving Amit is just one of those classmates. All right, we can bring the music back now because it just feels too quiet without it. And then here's what it says about him. Amit aspires to be a famous wizarding historian and already has extensive plans for his first memoir. Exceptionally bright and well-read. You know, no surprise for Ravenclaw here. He adores stargazing and always seems to have the most recent top-of-the-line telescope at hand. Amit will leap at the chance to help a friend in need, but once in the thick of things, often realizes he might be better off reading or writing about certain adventures than experiencing them. So, 100%. I feel like this is Chandler and Hogwarts Legacy, the marketing. Like, this is them saying, here's the Ravenclaw. <laughs> Not companion. <laughs> They've got the card, though. They've got the card that looks just like... Let me pull them all up here because I have them all saved. Uh, Actually, hold on. It might be faster. No, I want to pull them all up at once. 
so we can look at all all four of them at the same time all right so that's in the official here okay so we've got a mitt we've got natsai we've got poppy and we've got sebastian okay so clearly by revealing him in this way they're attempting to position him as the ravenclaw equivalent of these four wow that was a terrible job spacing all these out hold on <laughs> no poppy All right, sorry. Somebody's going to have to be slightly hidden. Unless we take them all just a wee bit smaller. So the cards all look like exactly the same, right? I mean, clearly they're, that's what they're trying to show here. They're trying to show that these are the four companions. But that's not what they say. That's not what they say. So it's one thing for the Hogwarts Legacy tweet. Okay, you know, that's... Maybe they just... They, they talked about them being classmates in the video that we just watched as well. But that was only one component. Then we also have our boy, Finch Strife, a.k.a. Chandler Wood, community manager for the game. And then he provides some additional context here. Excited to introduce you to just one more of your classmates. Seb, Natty, Poppy. He doesn't stop there. Nelly, Zenobia, Lucan, Amit, and more will all play a role in your journey as you attend Hogwarts. I think that that tweet is the one that made people more <laughs> starting to kind of read in to what really may be happening here. I know it's going to upset people. I heard, <laughs> I heard James say it in his stream today. I don't think they have a Ravenclaw companion. At least not in the sense that Natsai, Poppy, and Sebastian are companions. But what I will also say is I think they are doing away with the companion terminology. I think they're doing away with it. And I'm going to show you this why as well. If you've already seen my video, this will be a repeat. But I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this. Shout out to uh, Alicia, by the way. I don't know if Alicia is still here hanging out in the stream. But Alicia is the one who caught this and posted it in the... Um, I'm going to mute this again. Posted it in our Discord. Um, oh, wow. It's actually pretty close to this right here. I think it was around... Yeah, right here. 33. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of people talking about it. So this is Lucan. So Lucan Brattleby, I thought he was a first year. I think they just said in a younger year. They don't confirm what year. So we, we just know that he's younger than fifth. Um, so maybe not a first year, but he's younger than our character. And he is one of those that Chandler just mentioned, as well as, uh, who was the other one? Uh, Nelly and then Zenobia. Also characters that we met as giving us side quests in this gameplay showcase. Now, Chandler is putting those characters in the same category as Poppy, Natsai, and Sebastian, as well as Amit, who we have seen, not, like only thing we've gotten on him is the card. And I'm gonna get to your comments, I know. I see, I see a lot, a lot of you guys got thoughts. I see them coming in, I'm gonna get to them. But let me, let me get to this part here. So, in this scene here, of course he's the one who heads up the cross wands. Watch this right here. Watch this. This pops up, quest complete, spell combination practice, and then right here, challenge unlocked, complete side slash relationship quests. And so when I saw this, when I saw this right here pop up after Lucan gives us this little mission, I immediately thought they're doing away with companions, with that word companions. 
why we can, <laughs> we can we can get into the why um i think the big question is and i've seen i know feathers left a comment on the video today and some of you other raven claws as well i think the big question is I mean, what we're all wanting to know is, like, did Ravenclaw get enough love? Like, did Ravenclaw get forgotten? Is Amit going to be as fun of a character, even if you don't like Amit's, like, backstory or whatever, but is he going to have a character with as much uh, screen time, for lack of a better word, as the others? Now, another thing to keep in mind, we know the quest from, like, Sebastian got his own trailer, right? But we know that is entirely optional. We know that is optional, which then we know that Nat size is optional. And to be fair, we haven't gotten confirmation on the Poppy, like if like what her quests would look like either. We've seen a little bit from Natsai, a lot from Sebastian. The the bit that we saw from Natsai was from the the Autodesk presentation. So then we've got this complete sal uh, side relationship quest. And then this part kind of confuses me because watch this. This pops up and then it pops up again. Complete side slash relationship quests one of two. So I'm like, wait, why did it pop up a second time? Okay, so you're unlocking it and then, all right, then you complete the first step of it. So is it a side quest or is it a relationship quest? I saw some other people commenting on that, right? Because it said side slash relationship. So I think they're doing away with the terminology of companion and I think they're just, I think they're going to call everything, um, you know, classmates and they're going to say they're going to talk about relationships another thing sebastian and natsai pop up as options right there there they are to join us in the crossed wands duel so does that mean we haven't met poppy yet is she not part of the the group just yet did we not do her side quests because we know the side quests are optional and then what level, like where does Amit fall in all of that? That's the biggest question for me. That's the biggest question. Um, so for those of you who were hoping that maybe I would have, because I had told people, I, I've heard there's a Raven Call companion. For anybody who was hoping that I was going to be able to say, oh, this is not it, guys. There's another one that I've heard about. It's not. This is the one. Amit is the one. So I guess... For the Ravenclaws out there, what would make you guys <laughs> like what how could he be? I guess what I'm trying to ask is how could he not be a companion that joins us and that can be, you know, fighting alongside us? What else could he do to elevate him enough to where he would still be seen in your eyes as like, oh, they still gave gave Ravenclaw love? It's not like they just forgot about us. He had something else fun to do. Now let me get to your... Let me get to your comments. Let me scroll up here. It's going to take me a bit to catch up. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be able to go back and get all of them, but... Uh, JP, many great classmates and other NPCs can become com companions. Feather says that's so flipping unfair. Uh, Casey says it would have been interesting to see Hermione arguing with Ravenclaw's door knocker to be left because it's mad she answers the riddles correctly. Uh, Ryan, they have. It's now referred to as relationships. I think so, Ryan. Yeah, I think so. Imagine you can have all of them join you on an event. And by the way, guys, I know there's some trophy stuff here as well. I'm, I'm gonna, I talk about that briefly at the end of the video t that I put out today, but we're going to try... Try not to talk about the trophy stuff, even though I this one's very minor. I know it's not a huge, it's not like a big story spoiler, but some people don't want to know anything about the trophies at all. So try try not to bring that that piece of it up because I know there's an element of that to consider here as well. Uh, Noob said, "Imagine you can have all of them join you on adventures, and you can j just storm a poacher base with like 20 other kids." It's funny you say that. It's funny you say that, Noob. I'm going to come back to that. Don't let me don't let me forget that. I'm going to come back to that from the first trailer. Um Ultra Blue says trying to soften the blow possibly even make us forget the word campaign is not close blow black. I think you might be right Ultra Blue. I think you might be right. 
that being said, I do think that's kind of why I'm asking that question. Like, what else could they give Amit or could a, could Amit do that would elevate him to the point of like, oh, this is just as cool. It's different. He's not joining us in this battle, but this is just as cool and it's unique to his his character. Like, they already talk in the card about how he's like, you know, he's going to help out his friends, but then he also realizes like, oh, I'm better off on the sidelines in some things. There's the complete relationship quests popping up again um, after they completed that section there. JP, pretty sure Lucan is, is third year. Uh, Josh, think you're right. Have companions fight alongside you or join us was hard to flesh out, so they changed it to helping or meeting classmates with their side quests. Yeah, I think Amit, to be clear, I think he's going to have side quests, and I think we're going to learn his story. I do. I don't know that I think he's going to be one that will join us and unlock abilities. Why couldn't they take out Awful Puff? Jake says. <gasps> Sorry, James. Oh my gosh. Better get a Ravenclaw DLC, Feather says. And see, that's the other crazy thing. Like, like Alan and Moira, they're both Ravenclaws. This one just like it blows. It would blow my mind if there's not. I mean, I hope we're all wrong. Like, I hope James and I are wrong on this. And anybody else who's kind of speculating in, in this realm. Or I hope that, yes, Amit is is a different type of... <laughs> he's a different type of student to where he's not, he's not the companion like we learned about right there. But he is still a, an, an interesting character who's going to have a major part to play in the story. What if it's like the companions in Hogwarts Mystery? Uh, explain that a little bit further, Ahmad. How exactly do they work there? They need to add Quidditch in this? Uh, maybe in a DLC. Maybe in a DLC. Saw that in Ben's video. Very interesting. I think Dustin was talking about the, the menu option. At least let us go watch the games because of the character in the Quidditch ropes. That I could see happening, Casey. I could see us having at least, at least like a cutscene maybe. In the showcase, they never say what... Um, they don't say Lucan's house or his year. I went and looked specifically. Alan says, um, in fact, I'll show you how I, I did it. Really cool trick on YouTube, guys. This three little dots, you can do show transcript. And then if you do uh, control F or command F on a map, a Mac. So it, they have to have set this up. Like if you do it on mine, YouTube auto generates a lot of mine because I don't have time to or the money to pay for the all the official. So Alan says, here we'll just go and listen to it right here. He just says Lucan is in a younger a younger year cuz I initially thought he said first year. Definitely know about it, but they think they're being clever. <laughs> uh, and it's run by this uh, Lucan Brattleby here who's in a younger year, but we kind of like that this yeah, that he's running things. So that was Alan, Lucan Brattleby Let's see. Uh, what does he say here? Yeah, Alan. So Chandler says, and it's run by this Lucan Brattleby here. Alan then jumps in and says, who's in a younger year, but we kind of like this, you know, that he's running things. And then they go into the cutscene here. I don't think they ever say his actual year, though. I don't think so. But yeah, because I, I, some people commented that after I said first year in my video, and I was like, I thought he said first year. But yeah, he does not say first year. All right, so let's... He says, uh, younger year. Unless there's another part. Maybe there's another part. I just realized I've been in the stream for two hours. <laughs> just realized it. No playable Quidditch. Uh, right, right, right. Yo, another 10 gifted memberships. Fire T. Fire T, I didn't even know you were here hanging out tonight. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much, Fire T. And those of you who just got a gifted, make sure you thank Fire for the gifted membership. Let's see if it actually works for all of you. How are you? Welcome to Gryffindor. Welcome to Gryffindor. Uh, let's see. They just said he was younger. Didn't say year. Right, right, right. 
guessing third. They did say Zenobia was first year, right? I think I probably just yeah. I think that's what happened. Is I'm like, oh, younger year, first year. How are you? Welcome to Griffin. Ryan says relationships means companions. Yeah, I think that's the term they have used to replace companion. Hello. Is they're just going to call them relationships now? But Griffin. they were all. They will be of varying. Degrees. How are you? Some of the relationships will be characters who we learn this full backstory on, and they teach us new abilities, and they have quests, and they have, uh, they can actually join us on our journey. F those were the ones formerly known as companions. Then we have all these other characters who are also important, but they're not companion like. Um, the, the three there, the big three. Retro, do you think we can earn companions on the outside of Hogwarts? I don't think so, but that would be awesome if you could. And then, then we get to the other thing, like, is Fig a companion? Because we see Fig, he's obviously not a student companion, but we have seen the shot of Fig fighting alongside us, as well as Centaur. So it's like, I would I would consider that a, a companion personally. Like if we have a if we have any quests for them and they fight alongside us, I think that's a companion. So maybe we're gonna have like adult companions too. But then again, maybe Fig only joins us for part of it. Uh, Mary says actually someone pointed out that we see Amit somewhere in one of the trailers and was put in the Discord. People keep saying that, Mary. I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's Amit. I do not think it's him. I think it looks totally different. I'm with Sue on that. They were talking about that. James and Sue were talking about that during their stream as well. Uh, B Barbie, I think a bit will help us finding the ancient pensive, so it's not necessary to come with us, but it would still be a major role. That's what I'm thinking along the lines of B Barbie. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think he's going to have a different, significant, hopefully significant, role to play. L, when there is no way there wasn't a Ravenclaw companion from the start. It would be the biggest PR nightmare to... A I, I agree with you on that for sure. To alienate a fourth of the Hogwarts Legacy fans. I think we will have a bunch of classmates with quests, challenges, but companions will be able to go with us. That's the difference. Yeah, that's kind of ultimately how I'm seeing the difference too. Because I think we're going to have a lot of quest givers. But then it's like Lucan and Zenobia. Like, I don't think they are... I don't think they're... Com they're See, we got to be like, do we keep using the term or not? I don't think they're companions. I'm going to keep saying companions until they say officially one way or the other. Because right now it's just speculation for me based on going into that trailer and seeing, oh, they're calling this quest relationships rather than companions. Feather's like, I just want some representation. <laughs> I'll take that over Quidditch any or anything any day. Like, see, they've been so good about making sure... Making sure everybody feels included and, like, it's it's your story. Be the witch or wizard you want to be. If you're a Ravenclaw student, it would just be so strange for me if you don't have, like, your your companion, you know? I'm with you, Elwyn. Like, I, I'm still shocked by it. But I... I, that's still the way I'm leaning. That's still the way I'm leaning, is that I don't think there is a... I don't think there's a Natsai, Poppy, Sebastian equivalent for Ravenclaw. Which is... It, it, it really is mind-blowing to me. It's mind-blowing. But So my hope is that Amit, he's, he may not join us, but he's going to have some other important role to play. Whether maybe his missions are required. Maybe whatever you're doing with him is required. And then another, oh wait, JP, this is early in the game, so we haven't gotten Poppy as a follower yet. Yeah, I could see that. Haven't met Amit yet, but we see him during the showcase. Now you guys are saying we see him in the showcase too? Elwin, there is nothing about Amit that would point to why <laughs> they held back his story. There is going to be a Ravenclaw companion that is important to the story. They can't release the info yet due to spoilers. Ooh. 
See, that's been the big thing for a while. A lot of people have been saying is like, there's something from Ravenclaw coming, but they can't say too much because it's important to the story. I have like, sorry, I keep rubbing this side of my face because I don't know if it's like an eyelash or something that keeps like crossing in front of my vision. Uh, Ryan says, as I said, I think Amit is like Rowan in Hogwarts Mystery. Oh, see, I'm not familiar with that, but I've heard there's like a big twist or something with Rowan. Uh, Chris, I think it's a teaser historian. Who else is a historian? Uh, Mary, we keep going to him for research is my opinion. Yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's going to be something more like that. Uh, Johnny says, retro, Natsai in this video. In effect, every student have three black stripes on the sleeves. Yet in other videos, Natsai has three red lines in every other. <laughs> Josh says he does your homework. <laughs> um, the three lines. So there are differences in the robes. And I think that they could even change throughout the game in other characters. Maybe they, you know, they could change robes like our character. But then the other thing I will say is they have also changed some things from trailer to trailer. There are things that have changed ever so slightly. Nico says companion would need story significance. Yeah, I think for Ra yeah for Ravenclaws to be happy, the quest line is needed. Rossi, that's the feeling I get too. Ultra, I don't like the fact that he's a younger Lockhart. I ain't getting obliviated or reputation nicked. Ooh, a younger Lockhart. I don't know. I feel like he's... I feel like he's going to be legit. I think he's going to be legitimately, like, a smart dude. And not not trying to, like, trick anybody. Unless there's, like, a big story twist. Serious question, though. Do we know what House Professor Fig is in? Maybe he is our quote-unquote Ravenclaw companion. That had been another theory for a while, Nico. I don't think we know his house. Which, now that I mention it, I don't think we know the Ravenclaw. Because we know for sure that... Oh, geez. The Slytherin... Uh, Professor Abraham Ronan is the Slytherin head of house. I don't think we know the other heads of house. But yeah, I could see Fig being a Ravenclaw. If the companions are only important for their side quests and not the main story, then it'll be very disappointing. Because see, they are optional. They are optional. That's an important... That's a good point, Psycho. We know that they're optional, which I, I like that they're optional. But then maybe they do have some other impact in the main story as well. Uh, uppercase Logan, hey Retro, is there any new info about the Dark Souls-esque role we see in the state of play? Any speculation about what that really is? Timestamp is 709. Yeah, we just, we just passed that, didn't we? Or wait, no, I think we're getting, I think we're getting, I think we're coming up on it. We're coming up on it, actually. Uh, Reese, I think the only three that are going to have a fleshed out ending altering the line of quests are the original three we've seen already. Everyone else will be fetch quest, hence Amit is not going on a quest with us. I, I question the part about... I don't know how much Natsai, Poppy, and Sebastian will affect the, the, the main story because they're optional. They're optional. Jason, maybe story and learning an ability or something. Having an old dude. <laughs> Feathers. Having an old dude be the Ravenclaw companion would be such a dumb thing. All right, here we're coming up on the roll. Oh, wait, wasn't that it right there? Or no, I think it's. It might be at the top here. Yeah, 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 yeah. First off, what even is that over here? What even is that? It's like we can see a question mark right there. I'll 
leave that on that shot for a second. See what you guys think about that. Noob. Oh, did I miss? Oh my goodness, I missed. I'm so sorry. You're a wizard. How did I miss these? I missed the two super chats from Psycho. Excuse me, and Noob. My apologies, guys. So Psycho said RPGs 10 plus years ago. They have way more than four. Right? Yeah, even... um. I mean, I'm thinking like Persona, you know? You end up having way more than four, which is set in a similar similar type of setting. And then Noob, he could teach us more than fight with us. He could. He could. JP, quit comparing Amit to Lockhart. Amit actually does his own work, not taking credit. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. He helps you study for your OWLs, Josh says. Amit better be really amazing if he's all we get. Helps with puzzle type quests. That is interesting, Hannah. That is interesting. I like that and I could see that. Natasha, what if Sebastian's sister is the Ravenclaw companion and they threw Amit out there to try to keep her secret? Uh, that's been some, uh, somewhat of a theory too. We do see his sister... I kind of think his sister's not even going to school, though. I think either she has, like, a private lesson or she's just not able to go to school because of her ailment. Casey, I want a dating relationship as well. Man, I made a video on, like, that and a long time ago, and it's funny. People get really uh, people get really heated about that one for some reason. I think they could do it in, like, a fun, cute, you know, kid kind of way but i i don't think they're i don't think they're gonna do it the more that the more that time has passed and the more i think about it but yeah i have a video about that on the channel called um i think it's like romance in hogwarts legacy that one's still like more than any other video like old video like that that one still gets comments that will pop up of people like of course it could totally work and then be people being like i can't believe you would suggest such a thing 15 year olds and romance I'm like, guys, what kind of romance you talking about here, okay? What kind of romance you talking about? Because that's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about like you have a fun little side quest where you go to Madam Puttyfoot's together, okay? Jeez. Uh, haven't you guys played Persona? You like unlock, you know, the, the more you build your relationship. Sort of like what Hogwarts Legacy was talking about. Like you, you build a relationship, you get special abilities with that character. Uh, Brittany, connections to Merlin somehow would make this game, uh, this guy awesome. Oh, if Amit was connected. Uh, yeah, it would. Uh, Jay Rossi, Amit is smart, but maybe prefers reading, studying to fighting. Yeah, exactly. Researcher or healer would be an interesting role for Amit to have, uh, help us in the main story. Healer was something that just became interesting. Okay, why are the alerts dying? Because I just saw, wait, did Fire T gift another 10? Why did that just now pop up over here? Fire T, thank you so much for the gifteds. I don't think I missed them, but if I did, I am so very sorry. And uh, yeah, 10 of you got a, a gifted membership there from Fire T. That was 14 minutes ago, so I don't think I missed it. Alicia with a super chat. Alicia, thank you so much. Feel bad for muting you. Alicia, why you got me on mute? Why? Oh, what? what? Alicia, I thought we were friends. Why, why do you have me on mute here? It's all good, Alicia. Thank you for being here, supporting the stream. Thank you for the super chat as well. Uh, Hanson, what's the big deal with no companions? Realistically, they're just NPCs that will shoot people for you like the little kid in God of War. They don't need to be super fleshed out best friends, IMO. Uh, I mean, that's one way of looking at it. I'm guessing you're not a Ravenclaw. <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. JP, I think each of the companions have a particular fighting style. Seb and Eddie might be more up close. Poppy and Amit would be more likely to hang back. I like that idea. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. What if Amit is the one who helps us with the other things we can do in battle? Like it talked about him in astronomy though, right? Stargazing. I was going to say, like, what if he's one who's really good at potions? He helps us brew the potions that we're going to use in the battlefield. Or, uh, like, growing the mandrakes and stuff, which we know you can use on the battlefield as well. 
Uh, Jay Rossi, maybe while the others go with us, it could be someone will return to after mission. That's that's sort of what I'm thinking. Unlocks things for us in Chronicles of the Journey. Maybe he teaches us more than helps us. Maybe he's the guy in the chair. Not sure what chair. <laughs> Nico, I'm thinking two things right now. What if Professor Fig is the Ravo called companion? Or Amit is the companion, but he helps you throughout the story with information. Like, so yeah, like maybe the Ravenclaws actually get kind of two companions. You get like Fig as the one who gets to go out and do stuff. And then you get uh, a Mitt as more like kind of the behind the scenes planner. Ooh, oh man. Uh, excuse me. Do you think they used him not liking adventure as a reason to not have him as a companion? No. I think that would have been a convenient piece of his story to add like after the fact though i can't imagine you sit down on the drawing board and say hey we want these four uh all right we got these four characters we're going to put them in this house uh and then we don't we're not going to worry about anything for ravenclaw that would just be so surprising johnny says anyone with the three color house stripes in their sleeves will be companions i think Ooh, interesting idea i haven't looked that in detail on the three stripes Casey, catch me over here being a death puff in my game. My girlfriend trying her hardest to help me not get expelled. Psycho with another super chat. Uh, do you think if our level is skill skills bear high enough, it unlocks different dialogue options because you're proficient at it? I love the idea, and I've seen that in games before. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. So, podcast now in his. Uh, uh, if we want to come back to this, by the way, I, didn't, I haven't seen any comments yet about it. It could be possible that I'm just so far behind. <laughs> I mean, when I first saw this, I thought it's. I thought it's talking about roll. Like, I think it's talking about something on that little question mark display. Like, you're gonna spin something. What? I have no idea. I have no idea. That's that's my guess, though. Uh, so podcast now and James did a live stream last week, late last week. And I think more so than any other look at Hogwarts legacy so far, this gameplay showcase look right here really started to give us a look at the fabric of the game. What do I mean by that? Like, like how it's built, like, like the systems in the game, how they're actually going to work. I think it gave us the, the closest look yet because a lot of times speculation's been running wild and, I, and I've always told people like, yeah, we still don't even really know what the parameters are even for this game. All we knew was open world action RPG. That was it, man. There are many, many, many different types of open world action RPG. And so we're slowly starting to get more pieces to that puzzle and what kind of like the restraints are on the game. And I don't mean that in a bad way because every video game has restraints, every single one, right? There are restraints to the world and how it works. And so like that question right there uh, from Psycho about, do I think it unlocks different dialogue options? I don't think so because I don't think there, I don't think the game has the systems in place for all these multiple dialogue options. I think the dialogue is going to be... I think you'll have some key moments in the story where you have to make a significant choice. Like we've seen with, with like Sebastian and then the learning of the of Crucio and all that. That will... We obviously know that one has a big role because it's going to determine, hey, whether or not you get this spell or not. <laughs> right? If you choose no, then... I don't guess you get to learn it. We don't know for sure yet how that's going to shake out. But yeah, in terms of like having all a, a lot of different dialogue options, that's like, that's one of the systems I just, I'd be shocked. I'd like that though. I would. Alicia says, we are friends. I was busy. Please forgive. Alicia, you know it's all good. I'm just giving you a hard time. Thank you for your support, Alicia, as always. Uh, okay. It will be stupid if you have just three companions that can join you in your journey because it will not be your journey anymore. You cannot choose who will be your friend. I mean, I keep, I'm going to keep saying it, guys. I'd be shocked. I, I would really be surprised. Even though 
I shouldn't say I'd be surprised because that's what I'm predicting now. <laughs> um, I'm shocked though. I am. I'm still shocked because that is just. I just can't imagine that they wouldn't have something significant enough for Ravenclaws as well. And if they don't, I'd love. I'd love to get an interview with one of the anybody after the fact to figuring out the why. Because I think I know the answer. I think, and this is like no inside information or anything. This is not me. This is just pure speculation. Like, I feel like when, when you're writing the game, I bet if I had to, if I had to guess on this, I don't think they started out with Natsai, Poppy and Sebastian and immediately said, this is what house they're in. I could be wrong. Maybe that is where they started, which if, if that's where they started, then I'm like, why didn't you do the same for Ravenclaw? My guess is that they had, oh, wait, you think that's a mitt right there? Was that him walking by? Wait, let's rewind this. Oh, the hair, the hair works. Look right here on the right. Dude, and he's carrying something too. What is he carrying? And then what is that? Like, is that a giant feather? Wait, there's a quill. It's like a quill and a tablet. Oh, dude, what if that's actually him? Somebody did say he appears in this. Oh, wait, we're going to get a full view. Let's see. Spin around. Does it show him? Oh, no, he's already walked by. Has he already walked by? Oh, they're not going to turn all the way around. Okay, wait, that that wasn't him. Oh, there he is. Now he's turning that way. No! Come on, Andrew. Come on. But yeah, I'd love to... I, I feel like it would be more a writing thing. Like, you start writing, and you got this great character, right? And so you start fleshing out their backstory and then you start writing, okay, this is a cool quest they could do. And then you're like, okay, which house are they? I feel like the house would come like in the middle of the process rather than at the, at the very beginning. And then it's like, okay, you already got this great character. We can turn them into this companion. And then you're like, okay, what other characters do we have? But even then, even then, like even as I'm saying it, if you knew you didn't have one for Ravenclaw that was like in the same kind of realm in the same category, wouldn't you add? Wouldn't you add one? Feel super excluded if there's less Ravenclaw content. Oh, lots of lots of new uh, members there with that gifted, and then shadowing in the house. Ten subs. Let's go. I think that was actually uh, yeah memberships here, and then I did see we've had a new a few new subs pop in as well. Uh, Ultra Blue, right. There's nothing pointing to why they held Amit's story back. Not unless they're hiding bigger story points, but still, it feels like they're taunting us Ravenclaw. It's not cool at all. <laughs> and the other thing is, I don't think Chandler has responded to anybody. You know, Chandler's re really good about usually responding to a couple of comments from people who ask questions like for follow-up and clarification. A lot of people were hitting him up for clarification on that, and he, and he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. But maybe he will. We'll see. Fire T saw that you were streaming, decided to give membership instead of donating this time. Fire T, thank you so much, my friend. Man, you guys are just showing crazy love and support tonight here on this rare Monday edition of Retro Rack and Tour Live. Thank you so much again, Fire T. Logan says, Retro, is there any new info about the. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm so far behind. That comment was forever ago. <laughs> Still here trying to design a companion card thing for my own official character. Nice. Phantom draws. Is Deke a companion? Like, see? That, he could be. He could be. Phantom draws, gotta go. Hey, have a good night, Phantom draws. Thank you for being here. Sassy sis, what's up? I see the Gryffindor emoji. Fire T gonna lurk. Have an amazing stream. Fire T, thanks so much. Uh, Draco or Draco? I still don't want to be friends with a Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, or Ravenclaw. Just give me two Slytherin companions. 
Oh, Lee Retro, don't be offended. I need to say you have amazing. <laughs> Is that a meme or something? What the heck? How do you, can you see my eyes from? Can you actually see my eyes? I don't even care if it's a joke. I'm going to thank you. I'm going to thank you for that. And why would I be, why would I be offended? <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I have uh, blue eyes. Blue eyes. If you can see them from the in this little window, then you have good eyes yourself to be able to see that. So the Ravenclaw classmate, right, chicken? Right? I think so. Theo says Chandler just trolling with us. It's a companion. He just wants something for us to talk about. Chandler doesn't strike me as... I, I could see how he would have some fun trolling, but I he doesn't strike me as one who would troll the community like that in that way he he trolls the community by pointing out the the owls in the trailer and talking about james being the merlin um conspiracy theorist i feel like he trolls in that way when it comes to like the actual news for the game which i gotta say ever since chandler has been there we we have a heads up almost just about every single time before like we never have to wonder is hogwarts like is it going to be here they almost always tell us in advance I think the only one that was a surprise might have been Gamescom. Now, the gameplay showcase, this one they only gave us like a one-day notice, which was so annoying to me because I had a big work thing. But, um, yeah. But they usually do a pretty good job of like kind of just, you know, keeping it level with you and being like, this is what's happening. I don't think he would troll the community like that because he knows they've been asking for Ravenclaw. Talking about seeing a mitt. Oh, it just did that thing where it jumps and skips a bunch of comments. Whenever it does that, what it tells me is that I'm really far behind. <laughs> That's what it tells me is that I'm so far behind. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just now seeing this. These. I got to go through these quickly. Yeah, no problem, Casey. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. Skylines, what's up? Welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I repeat, I'm so far behind. I'm still, I'm scrolling back and I'm still. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I gotta come up with a better way of doing, like, you guys just make such comments and I wanna talk about them. And then I'm just, I'm just so far. Okay, I'm only making it worse. I'm only, I'm only making it worse by stopping and talking. Okay, there we go. I finally got back to Logan's. All right, so let's go quick, let's go quick. Uh, Recess, I think it's just a character they threw out there to troll. If it was their fourth companion, they would have shown it back in March. Uh, Chris says, true, it seems like he follows even less popular characters, like the Owl's comment in the gameplay was adding Wife Wants a Wizard. Right, right, right. Uh, JP says, retro, look at 2626. Oh, we're actually coming up on that. I'm just going to put it right there before I stop it a little bit before. All right, now I'm not going to say, I'm not going to make this video go forward until I'm fully caught up on comments. Uh, Hanson, I think uh, it's part of this weird trend they're doing. A lot of students hang out between houses, which didn't really happen much in the books or movies. Oh. I think the difference is that Natsai and company have... A, see, I can't I can't dwell on your guys' thoughts. So if you're leaving a good comment, apologies for just passing quickly. I have to get caught up. Uh, I think the difference is that Natsai and company have story quests you can achieve. Wife Wants a Wizard is hilarious. Uh, agreed, agreed. Mathilda, I'm sold. Hope they're holding someone really cool back for Ravenclaws. Who gives students the <laughs> puberty talk if they hit it early Hogwarts and their parents, whoever can't tell them, head of house, prefects, head boy, head girl. I will let you guys speculate on that one. Uh, if it's my story, I don't want a Ravenclaw friend campaign. I want friends who are in my house with me. Well, I mean, they're optional. We know the three are optional. The three that we know about. Think about Rowan and Hogwarts mysteries. He's your best friend from the start. Timothy Ninja, what's up? Timothy, welcome. Myrtle isn't alive yet, so no, indeed. 
No, Hannah, we do not officially know Bethilda's house. That was a a crackpot theory that I think I'm the one who started. Maybe I'm wrong. Rowan is supposed to be the best friend, but they're in like hardly any of the story quests for most of it. Uh, be stupid if you only just have three companions who can join you in your journey, not be your journey anymore. Timothy, I just got here and I'm very lost. So am I, Timothy. I'm, I'm a million comments behind. Uh, yeah, late 1800s, like around 1890. Which, I'm not even sure if it's 1890 anymore, you guys. I'm not even sure if it's 1890 anymore. I'm wondering if they've changed that. I'm wondering if they've changed that because of a comment that Troy Levitt made on Twitter. Feel a mid is not as interesting as compelling. Nancy Poppy or Sebastian, to be honest. I would say we don't know enough. He could be. He could be. We just don't know enough yet. Wait, what have you been wondering? Oh, the bear. Uh, there isn't a game out there that allows you to interact and befriend every NPC. True, true, true. Ultra says, Do agree, doesn't feel all that special. Uh, Nico, I think we see the character with Natsai and Hogsmeade spying on Rookwood and Ranrock. Maybe that was part of the main story. Could be. Yeah, no problem, Johnny. I think the third person in the dark magic character, you mean the trailer, is Ravenclaw classmate. Feel like the button will open some kind of hidden door behind that face. See, goodness gracious. Oh, the roll button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've Like 30 minutes ago, I'm so behind. Chamber of Secrets on my brother's GameCube. Oh, that's where I played it too. Love that game. When they talk about companions, do they mean that the character storyline is optional, but they may still come with you on your storyline regardless of if you do theirs? That's a good question, Elwin. My interpretation has always been yes. Like that they, if you do their quest, I mean, that's how it is in other RPGs, right? You you kind of get to choose like your party, like who's coming with me for this, especially in turn-based games. Like if you can only have three at a time or whatever, you choose the party that you're going in with. <clears throat> Think them being optional will be a perfect example of completing or not completing their quest, changing outcomes of main missions and endings. Cyberpunk had tons of optional missions that alter the main story. Don't really want to be followed around too much. They could have a date, but not more. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. They're not getting married or anything. Exactly. Teens that age do date some. Exactly. Exactly, Rossi. Exactly right. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like everybody that I'm replying to, is, they're already gone. They're like, I sent this comment an hour ago. Mary, I'm tempted to make a video about how Amit is able to help us on missions if he's not for combat. That'd be a good one. That would be a good one. Maybe just going to a winter dance. going Right, like a dance. like oh, A dance would be so cool in this game. That could be like a major story moment happening there. Poppy could be a healer. You think Seb, sister, is like Ariana? Dumbledore ain't allowed out of the house due to how dangerous she could be. Could be. I think it's a um, blood maledictus is my guess. Had a kid at 16, a girl was 15. So, yeah, romance happens, <laughs> people. Anson had his, whoa. Nah, Poppy only heals animal. Hope Amit would be more than just Hogwarts Clippy? I don't know what that is. What if Amit teaches us how to use pensives? I like that one. I like that one, high IQ. If the romance is like what it is in Hogwarts Mystery. It could work without going too far for fifth-year students. All right, I'm getting close. Shooting stars at enemies as a Hufflepuff who wants to get a ton of magical creatures. I don't mind only having three companions. <clears throat> Join Slytherins. Save the world. Can we get an animal pet that can go true water? Into the water? I don't think so. The closer we get, I don't think we can go underwater. Game release is close to Valentine's Day, so romance for the dancing Cupid memes, please. Maybe Mitt is one of those who sends us the owl post. I could see that, Jay Rossi. What if the real Ravenclaw companion <laughs> was the friends along the way? Mitt is the brains of the operation. 79 days, right, Miles Morales? It's crazy. Crazy. Roll for a chance to win a Deathly Aloe. 
I love that idea. I don't think so, Psycho. Oh, wait, what did Psycho say? Oh, yeah, the dialogue thing. Oh, my gosh. I'm Okay, hold on. The house point containers are indeed beautiful. Poppy is 100% Hufflepuff. Yep. Reese says the answer is simple. Repetitive backstory. Probably couldn't think of more than three completely unique backstories for side characters. I'd find that hard to believe. They got a lot of uh, they got a lot of people on their team. Andrew purposely turned the camera there to avoid. I I was wondering that. Yeah. Be nice if this game had the option to play with three people cross platform. Yeah, it's just like sadly sadly no multiplayer some people are happy by that though it's you know single player only theory from elwin we have to have <laughs> elwin is like i saw elwin and expecto go stream today too elwin is like all in on this like there there has to be a ravenclaw companion in the movies a student could be brought into a common room that wasn't their own by a student of the house luna with harry needing the diadem that's how we unlock those flu places in the common rooms. Ah, oh, could be. And then you could still go into the other common rooms. Maybe. Dustin, if Aragog, if Aragog, if Amit was in the Forbidden Forest with Aragog, would he be a friend of Hagrid's orc? <laughs> oh, no. Just when I was about to get caught, caught up on the comments, that one broke me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I might have to tweet that, Dustin. <laughs> I might have to tweet that one. If a mitt was in the Forbidden Forest with Eric Hawk, would he be a friend of Hagrid's or a companion? <laughs> and would he let us go? Or would he not deny his children fresh meat? Oh my gosh. Whew. Ultra blue. Nice to see you. Have a good night. I'm I'm on I'm literally screenshotting this with my phone right now. I'm screenshotting it right now, Dustin. Chandler recently did post something on Twitter. <gasps> About the game? I saw his post from earlier about uh Oh yeah, this is not uh this is not Hogwarts related though. This is about everybody if if Twitter if Twitter ceases to exist, a lot of people are trying out a platform called Hive. That's what that one's about. Okay, I gotta get caught up here. Gotta get caught up. I just need to do what James does. Like James, just you know, if I'm, <laughs> if you, if you miss, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna skip ahead. Oh, that Clippy. Yes, feathers. Of course, of course. All right, guys. I gave up. I just had to scroll down to the bottom. So I'm 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 caught up now. I just didn't get to read all the comments. Dustin has won today's live stream. Indeed, Basilisk in the Forbidden Forest scaring the crap out of Aragog. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. It jumped again. It jumped on me. I was trying to to catch up on everything. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to. Play this because somebody said I think twenty six twenty six. Oh, and dude, he took off running too. I mean, I can see it. I can see it. Trying to see where we get the best look where the face isn't blurry. Honestly, it's probably right there. Dude, they like make eye contact for a second too. <laughs> He's like, I'm the Ravenclaw. I'm the Ravenclaw companion, dude. <laughs> 
Did you know? Oh yeah, you nailed it, Ryan. It jumped ahead and I'm just like, that's it, I'm done. I return to the present. I'm out of the past now. I'm no longer in the past. You had this discussion with game with James and Sue. Agree it's not him. Well, James was saying that he looked similar to the Ravenclaw from the uh, original trailer. I mean, I think this looks closer than... I don't think it's him, though. Now, the other one, the one outside that we never got a good look at. Now, let's see. Is the hair parted on the same on the same side? Nah, that's not him. The hair is parted to the same side, though. Look at that. Now, one other quick thing I wanted to talk about. This is going way back to one of Noob's comments. True, not highlighted. Caroline been comparing the picture of it and that the guy 2626. Yeah, that's 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 where I was right there. Yeah, it's it's hard like skin tones are so hard to read, especially on because I'm pretty sure Amit is supposed to be Indian. But then, like, based on the brightness of your screen and all that. Okay, so I wanted to look at the initial um, reveal trailer. This is something Noob said a while ago in a joking way about all of the how many companions can join us. Oh, goodness. I mean to have sound. It's actually toward the very very end it's the scene where the dragon okay this scene right here this one you have to really go frame by frame to even see it there's a moment here when we're trying if we're trying to figure out how many companions can join us at once now the other part of this is it's, you don't know if it's a cut scene or not but like, so let's say there's a scene, we're going in, we're fighting this dragon here. Or maybe we're trying to help this dragon here. Because it looks like it's all restrained at the moment. So look, we got this character right here. And then I'm just going to let it play. So that's one. We see another character right here with one of those masks on. So that's a second character, two. Then we see a third character. Dude, this guy is balding right here. Is that me? <laughs> this is this this definitely looks like an older guy though. So now the other question is this one of the poachers? Are these like the bad guys? Or I mean, because these two could be, but we definitely see, we see three right here. Because I think that's another question we don't know the answer to yet is how many will be able to join us at a given time, right? We just don't know. CJ, do I think the Patronus charm might be featured? I really hope so. I really hope so. Nick says they they panic picked a random NPC to be the Ravenclaw companion when they saw the community getting riled up. I can see how it would feel that way. I do. But I don't think so. So the one that I have heard about I would even say months ago, guys. I don't remember how how far I publicly shared it with everyone and said, hey, I've heard there is a Ravenclaw companion. Um, but it's been several months that I knew about it. And they told me that it was someone of Indian... It, it was a male Indian Ravenclaw. 
And so that, so I don't think they just pulled this one out of thin air. I think he's been there from the beginning, but I do still think there's a big question about whether or not how big his role is. I do. Why would we be facing them if they were helping us? <laughs> Retro's model was in the game before James. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is this guy wearing though, right? Like he almost looks like a, <clears throat> like he looks like, to me he looks like some kind of handler for this, for this dragon. I feel like these guys are on the bad side, but he's wearing, he's wearing one of those skull masks, but then we also know that our character, let me play it a little bit more. And then this one's got like red and this one's like, they don't look anything like school robes either. And now this character kind of turns to face him. Yeah, and then it cuts away. So that's all we see. But then we get another. That's a Ravenclaw right there. Okay, so right here. This is that same Ravenclaw that we just saw. I don't think it's a myth, though. How many are with us out here now? I think we just see him. I think we just see this character right here. And then he dives out of the way. I thought we might see another one right there. So yeah, we just see three in that scene before. Right here, we see three. Oh, there's a, there's a better look at this guy right here. That's me. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. They put me in the game long ago, guys. He doesn't, oh wait, does he have a beard? Oh, if he has a beard, I'm gonna lose it. If he has a beard, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, he might, dude. He might actually have a beard. We we can't see because he's wearing the mask. No, I don't want that to pop up. Oh. We can't see if he has a beard, but you know what? We can't see that he doesn't have a beard either. It looks like he's wearing the, the beaked one. That looks like a beard to me. <laughs> oh man. I almost think his clothing looks different right here. Then like Casper Tago to block all of the debris. I think his clothing looks different right here. Okay, so we've got like, I don't know, like a grayish or blue right here and then a black. I mean, no, it's definitely the same character. I think it's just a weird lighting thing, how it looks different. And then his head, his head looks totally different too. We're, dude, this trailer's been out forever and we're just way over analyzing this, I'm sure, but. So yeah, when uh, when Noob said that about the, about companions, like how many, it made me think about that scene right there where we see at least three, but then again, we don't know if that's, we don't really know if that's us or if that's someone else. No such thing as overanalyzing, right? Right? Oh man, all right guys. We have officially crossed the three hour mark. I still, I still have wanted to go through this whole thing with you guys on the live stream. <laughs> we haven't been able to do that yet. Oh, it's been out for a while or well, two weeks. This is the second week. Last week we had James on, which was great. Um, but yeah, man, we, so for anybody who missed the stream and hops into the replay and is like, dude, retro streamed early. Uh, so I'm going to be out of town for the holidays. <laughs> For the Thanksgiving holiday, not anything else, guys. Stop the speculation. I'm going to be away uh, away from my computer and everything. Well, I'll have my laptop with me, but I won't have my editing computer with me. So I wanted to do it tonight and make sure we did a live stream. Three hours gone. I know, right? That was crazy. I can't believe it's been over three hours. Now that's including like the countdown, the 10-minute countdown and everything, but... 
honestly, like I'm trying to cut down <laughs> stream times. Like I feel like two hours is a good, a good amount. I need to start bringing a little more structure to them. I feel like, but I just love, I just love going down the rabbit holes with you guys, with the chat, <laughs> seeing where we end up. I just love seeing where we end up. <clears throat> Maybe Zenobia's the Ravenclaw companion. <laughs> we know we get quests from her. One eighty-two, yo, let's go. Hanson, stream as long as you want. Man, I would stream all night, but sadly, I have, a, have another work day ahead of me. Another work day ahead of me. And I know I keep saying it. I I, I, def, I still want to do more gameplay live streams as well. I just can't quite figure out what I want to. I can't quite figure out what, how, and when. <laughs> Cause I know it's it's a different vibe, man. Like like here we're just hanging out. I'm just uh, Chad is way more active, but when it's games, it's a little bit different. So hit me up on Twitter if you have any games you'd like to see me live stream at Retroac and Tour. If you don't have Twitter, leave a comment on a um, just leave a comment on a video. I try to I try to catch most of those. <clears throat> Love how they said everyone in the game has their own unique names. I mean, right? We see it. We see it, like how it pops up above above their heads. It's awesome. Go Ninja says, that wasn't a rabbit hole. That was a vortex into another dimension. Chris, so glad I finally got to come to my first live stream. Hey, I'm glad as well. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys, for the, uh, the ASMR. We will probably get that. James is guessing tomorrow or Friday. They might do it on Black Friday, but that's like such a big shopping day in the US I'm gonna predict tomorrow I predict tomorrow James has the intel after all uh, he has some intel for sure I don't think he would have said he would say if he if he wasn't supposed to say though he, he wouldn't say Jenny thinks tomorrow could be later today, right? Yeah, we're getting close to uh, midnight here. My time as well. New with another super chat to close us out. Stay hydrated or I'll send Poppy after you. Hey, I've got like, I've got a little drop left. That's officially it. That's officially all of the Waterloo. Noob, thank you so much. Thank you guys all who were here hanging out tonight for the love, the support. A uh, lot of new people in here tonight too. So guys, we normally do this thing every Tuesday around 8, 8.30. I have two young kids, so I just have to coordinate with my wife's work schedule. And that that's really what controls the time. Um, I would honestly prefer earlier. Uh, like, I love the time that James does his. And I know a lot of my overseas friends, especially in the UK, hate the times that I live stream. So shout out to you guys in the replay squad, especially if you made it this far. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'm working on it, man. If we can ever go full time with this uh, with this YouTube thing, we'll be streaming. We'll be streaming definitely at better hours than this. That's for sure. All right, guys. Uh, if you're in the U.S., I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And then Casey, one of our newcomers there, Casey, with a two dollar super chat on the way out. Casey, thank you so much for the crazy support tonight. Hope you enjoyed the chat and enjoyed the live stream. Good night to you as well. It worked. Yeah, it went through that time. Ravenclaw Tyrell, I see you in the house. But yeah, guys, if you want to continue conversation with a lot of the people that have been hanging out here in the chat tonight, I saw Nico post the Discord there. Oh, 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 before we go, before we go, before we go, I forgot to I always feel weird plugging merch but i'm proud of this so i shall plug it <laughs> just in time for all the holiday shopping we just brought out some new designs today i've had these for a while you guys may recognize these if you rock if you're a member here the little uh emojis that we have in the chat they match these so we've got the lion here on the maroon. We've got the snake here 
on the green. We've got the eagle on the blue, and then we've got the badger on the yellow here. Th I love these, dude. I've got to get mine hasn't came in yet. I'm, of course, going to get a Gryffindor one so I can rock here on stream. I, there also are T-shirt versions of these as well. And right now, if you're a channel member, you get a discount all the time with a special code. But all week long, we are going to have this code going right here. 15% off. Use the code THANKS. And then we also still have our Order of Merlin merch, which I, I I never made a version of that in a hoodie or sweatshirt or long sleeve. I might need to add that. Uh, then we got our Unforgivable Curses. That is also in a t-shirt as well. And then we have the Wizards Chess Club. So no Wizards Chess in Hogwarts Legacy, like but you can be a member of the Wizards Chess Club rocking this hoodie. Or I think I did it as a t-shirt as well. So yeah. Uh, just go to retroreconteur.com and then click on merch. Wizard, that's the honey. that's the fastest way to get there. But yeah, man. Um, like I said, check out the Discord. You can stay to uh, stay tuned. Stay in touch with a lot of the community there. I don't post in there a lot because I'm just like I got to get in the habit of using Discord a little bit more. Maybe it's my age. I don't know. I'm just not. I haven't been much of a Discord person. But noob. Not noob. Um, Nico has slowly been getting me, <laughs> getting me to use it more. And I mean, it's I like it in a lot of ways. I'm still kind of an old school. Like I love the layout of old school message boards. Like how you can really like you got this topic, and then you make a thread on that topic, and then anything relating to that, it's like you can see it in the thread. Whereas Discord, I feel like it's too easy to miss things. And I know they recently added some kind of thread feature but we haven't really experimented with that yet. But anyway, I'll be about and around and um, on social media throughout. I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the break, doing um, getting that video ready because I know everybody's wanting to see my full breakdown of this gameplay showcase because there was so much. Uh, I also want to do a full combat breakdown video as well because there was so, so much here on the combat, more than we've gotten ever everything we knew about the combat that is is smaller than what we got out of it here in this video so that one's coming soon as well i do make other types of videos as well it's not just hogwarts legacy but right now the the hogwarts legacy news cycle is so hot and there's so much happening i just have to stay on stay on those videos <clears throat> enjoyed the chocolate frog discussion last time discord is better than twitter uh, about anything is discord is huge in the mmo world like, I, I loved using Discord for chat with some people when I played a lot of Destiny 2, but it's so weird to get, get in the habit of, like, using it for discussion. Like, it's just too easy to miss things. Too easy. Chris Huffinpuff, too old for that stuff, right? I know, it does kind of feel like a get-off-my-lawn moment for me. It does kind of feel like a get-off-my-lawn moment. All right, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out. I hope you all had a wonderful evening, and hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. Uh, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you all so much for being here.